Hello! I think for once, I finally got the stream set up properly from the beginning, so hopefully you guys can hear me fine and the music's not too loud. So welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc. This should be the last stream. As you can probably see from the thumbnail, we're going to try completing the Pokedex, catching the new Paradox Pokemon, and hopefully fighting the secret boss of this DLC, which I'm so excited to find out who it might actually be. Last night, I was actually up a little bit, well, not late, but I guess after the stream, I continued playing the DLC, trying to figure out exactly how to unlock that secret boss. And I think I figured it out, so we're going to check all of that out. But first, I just want to say, hey, welcome everybody. What's up, Potato? Welcome back. What's up, Nintendo fan? What's up, Pac Noir? Deepesh, nice to see you again, buddy. What's up, Carlos? What's up, Noel? Rohit? Ender Dragon, Nekohime, and Hikaru. Alright, that's enough hellos for now. I also am going to be doing some blueberry quests with you guys. I need your help, bro. These blueberry quests are way too hard to do by yourself. And you probably noticed, uh, it's, it's day for once. <laughs> the last two days in Japan have been really gloomy. But today the sun is like out there. It's actually pretty warm. I just went and got some breakfast and... Yeah, there's a lot of people out today. It's also Saturday here, so that's probably why. Um, in fact, it might be a little too bright. There we go. I like that better. I like the mood lighting, you know? What's up, Spell? Just woke up in India. Nice. Yeah, over here in Japan, it is currently 11 a.m. So I'm starting it uh, an hour later than usual stream. Just because I needed myself to get some rest after the last two days. My voice is it's getting a little rough right now, but... I think we'll manage through this stream. I got my hot drink. <sighs> Perfectly soothing. What's up, Rachel from Ireland? Nice. What's up, Mirar? Alexander? I'm currently staying in Japan temporarily. Um, for the last two months, we've been here. Getting all sorts of things done. Some content you guys have yet to see that is coming up uh, in this month and also throughout next year probably. Like we got so much content recorded, it's going to be crazy. But I'm still here for one more month. There's still a couple of things that I need to do. And also, Christmas is coming up, my birthday is coming up, New Year is coming up. It's going to be crazy this next last month in Japan I should say. But yeah, it's been awesome. Like I love it here. The best part is definitely the convenience stores. <laughs> That's what everyone talks about, but it's true. Like, I literally walked downstairs and got myself this hot drink. And it was so easy, so convenient, as the name says. What's up, Leaf Green? Welcome back. Leah from the Philippines. How you doing? Oh yeah, we're also going to get some starter Pokemon. We managed to unlock... All of them in the terrarium yesterday, but I haven't actually caught many of them. I think we caught like maybe half, so we're going to try to get the rest of the starter Pokemon. Without further ado, let's get back into the terrarium. It's funny because I'm actually playing music from the terrarium, but it's not this biome exactly. I don't even remember what I was last doing actually. I think I was just catching random Pokemon. Let's see how our Pokedex is doing, first of all. And let me fix my camera. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I would show you guys that. A little behind the scenes. Alright. When are you going to the Pokemon Center again? I mean, I'm there every other day, basically, bro. It's my second home. <laughs> but yeah, we're at 131 out of 200 that we need in order to unlock Raging Bolt and Iron Crown, which are the new Paradox Pokemon. So we need 70, well, 69 more Pokemon, technically. Look at Magby in the Pokedex. Look at this Magby specifically, the one on the left, like, right there. Why is he giving those eyes? He looks like that bear meme. The bear meme, he's like, you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that looks funny. But yes, I, I was just randomly running around the terrarium, catching stuff. We still have a lot to catch, but I figure the best way to do this is to have some of you guys join in as well, because... I mean, if I'm going to be catching random Pokemon, we might as well be doing Blueberry Quest while we're at it. 
so we can grind up to get all of the features unlocked in the club room. And all of the trainers too. You need a lot of BP actually. So you need 12,000 just to get all the starter Pokemon. And then you need like another 6,000 maybe to unlock all the trainers. And then of course there's all the other bonus features like the different Pokeball throws. Uh, the music you can unlock. So yeah, there's, there's a lot. So what we're going to do is first off I need to get online actually. I didn't realize you could do it from this menu. Wow. That makes things a lot easier. <laughs> So we're going to do first come first serve. Basically whoever gets in the group first gets to play until usually I do until we do one group quest and then I swap out for another group of people just to give as many of you guys a chance to play. So yeah, if you want to join in, just type the code that will be on screen right now. Well, go to this same machine that I'm at, go to join the group and then type the code that you're going to see any second now. There you go. The code is down below. What's up, Guru Guru? What's up, White Fang? Welcome, guys. What's up, Mapendo? Nice. I'm glad you like the streams. I've been really enjoying the streams. Like, I guess I've talked about this a little bit before, but I feel like when it comes to recording playthroughs the good old-fashioned way I used to do, it's just not me anymore. Like, I don't know. I can't get through it for some some reason maybe it's just too many years of doing let's plays like i'm burnt out i don't exactly know the reason but i i really enjoy streaming the game instead uh but yeah everybody's in here so let's set out together oh you're too slow you'll get in there next time neko Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to switch up the group after every group quest that we complete. So, any of you guys that didn't get to join in, you can still join in on the next one. But here's our group for this one. I like the hair. That's really cool. And the mask too. Okay. You might notice I also switched my uniform back to Naranja Academy. You know, I got to rep the orange. Even though I'm not a big fan of the... Whatever these are called, the little straps. Suspenders, I think is what they are. But yeah, in case you haven't seen any of the DLC streams before, here in the terrarium, you have these things called BBQs or Blueberry Quest. Right now, I have one to make a sandwich, actually. I didn't even realize. Terrastalize Pokemon, take a photo of a wild Pokemon in flight, and catch a flying type. All right, so I guess we should go find a flying type. Um, and then after you complete a certain number of these Blueberry Quests, you unlock a group quest, which gives you a lot more points. You also need to complete them to get all the legendary Pokemon, which... I unlocked a bunch of the legendaries already, but I haven't unlocked all of them quite yet. I also feel like my game is lagging a little bit, but I'm not sure if that's my... recording software or the... internet. Okay, no, I think it is the, the, the recording software, so I'm going to restart it real quick. Okay, I need to find a flying Pokemon right now. You guys feel free to also make groups with each other if you want, because, like I said, BBQs, like the points, the blueberry points, they're a lot easier to get when you play with other people. And also, I keep forgetting... But we have the freaking fly function, dude. We can fly whenever we want now. I don't know why I keep forgetting to use it. Oh my god, I can't control Koraidon though. I'm, oh my, what, what is happening? We just completed like 50 quests in a row. <laughs> that was crazy. Whoa, wait, there's a Milsuri outbreak up here? I think Milsuri actually counts as a Pokemon in flight technically, so... That's... Oh, no, it doesn't count. Wow. I thought it would. It's kind of weird. Oh, what the frick? Bulbasaur? What are you doing up here, man? What? <laughs> I don't have the right Pokemon with me, though. I need to get my Gallade. Who's my boy when it comes to catching. Yeah, let's get rid of Fred. I was doing some other battles off screen, too. That's why my party's looking a little weird, but... Let's try to get all the starter Pokemon first. Dude, look at him. 
<laughs> he didn't even turn around for us at first. All right, there we go. So cute. Uh, I think I've caught like maybe half of the starter Pokemon so far. Mainly because a lot of them I already had from Pokemon Home Transfer. Like I know I had Oshawott. I know I had Cinderace, but not Scorbunny apparently. From one of the Terra Raid events. I'm gonna try to get them all in Premier Balls too, because they're my favorite Pokeball, of course. He looks so beautiful, the little Bulbasaur. Dude, Venusaur looks even crazier. Like, I saw that Venusaur and Blastoise got new models. Charizard already had a new model in this game, but now Venusaur has one too. For some time after its birth, it uses the nutrients that are packed into the seed on its back in order to grow. That's so freaking cute, dude. Look at him! I'm gonna keep him in the party, actually. And you know what? I'm gonna give him a nickname, too. Oh, actually, her! Yo, we got a female Bulbasaur! What? Starter Pokemon are usually kind of rare to get female, no? I don't know if in the wild it's any different. I was gonna name him Kaiser, because that's usually my Bulbasaur name, but... Since we got a girl, I'm gonna go with... Nambu! Thanks, Grey Poco 291 for the 9.99 Super Chat. Hey, Orente Pokemon, you need to trade to evolve like Electiva or Mas Mortar could be found in 5 star oh. so you don't need to trade to get them. <laughs> Thank you so much, Grey Pogo, for the $10. Awesome. Appreciate that, homie. You need a trade to evolve like Electivire Magmortar. Could only be found in 5 star raids. Yeah, so we, we are going to do some trades later today, too. I definitely need to do some trades to get every single starter. <laughs> I like how Torkoal was sleeping, but that's not actually a new Pokemon. Uh, but thank you again. Yeah, maybe some of those trades can be with you if you're still around, Pogo. There's not only, like, trade evolutions, but also there's, like, trade exclusive Pokemon. Like, you guys were telling me Shieldon and Bastiodon are exclusive to Violet. Um, I think the only other one... I already got from someone. I forgot what it was. Alolan Sandshrew, maybe? Actually, I guess technically the trade Pokemon, you don't have to trade. But if you're playing with someone that has Violet and they're near you, they can potentially spawn in the biome that they're in. I usually get male starters. Yeah, male, like, starter Pokemon, I think, have like a 80% chance of being male. So it's kind of crazy that we found a female Bulbasaur on our first try. Let's see if we can double up, find another starter Pokemon somewhere around here. I feel like there might be a Squirtle lurking nearby, or what the heck? Whoa, what is this? Yo, I've never been here before. What is this, actually? Torchlit Labyrinth? What? Have you guys seen this area before? Whoa! <laughs> kind of reminds me of where we first met Goraidon and Miraidon in, in uh, the base Paldea. Oh, yo, it's Diglett! I actually don't have a Diglett yet. You wandered in here during the story? Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Bit of an awkward angle to be fighting this guy in. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna throw my Pokeball. This is a cool area. Oh, and the crit... Yo! <laughs> Yo, that Pokeball went in a very weird spot. Uh, I mean, we got it. We almost got a little extra surprise along with this Diglett. <laughs> the things growing from its head are whiskers that have become metallic. Diglett communicates with his comrades by waving them. I love Alolan Diglett. He's so freaking cute. I actually don't have Alolan Doug Trio yet either. But I know where we can get one. It's, it's not too difficult. Um, I just noticed we also do not have Blossom yet. Oh, yo, another Torkoal. I saw there's a TM up here, too. This is a cool area, though. I thought Charged Stone Cave was going to be, like, the only one, but... Now we got, we got Torchlit Cavern. And Metal Sound is now a TM. Hmm. Not really that crazy. I mean, I guess Metal Sound is pretty good in double battles, though, because you can lower both opponents. Special D. What's up, Jai? Welcome back. I nice see you again. We got Alolan Slowpoke over here. Oh, sorry. Wait, is it? No. Galarian. Galarian Slowpoke. Gothitelle is in the DLC? What? 
I mean, she was already in Scarlet and Violet, but it's kind of weird just seeing her pop up in this cave randomly. Oh, we got the, the group quest already. Nice. Yo, you guys are destroying these blueberry challenges, man. How come this says Frogger now? I swear that was my quest earlier. Now it says Frogger. Anyway, we got to catch the Pokemon with the hints. So, if fairies people across the sea on its back. Oh, it's Lapras. It may sing an enchanting cry if it's in a good mood. All right, I'm going to guess that someone else probably is going to catch the Lapras before we get to it. Because I'm pretty far away from it right now, it seems. I feel like a, a starter Pokemon has got to spawn in here, though. Like, fire Pokemon, I can imagine. We got a Magby right there. Also can never tell what Shiny Minior looks like. I don't think that's one, but... If anyone knows, because Minior is a pretty cool Shiny. Like, the inside of it, uh, when it breaks out of its shell, is really cool. Yeah, you get the yellow quest after doing group quests. Like, regular... Um... Blueberry quest. We got one of the special trainers here. Kind of tempting to battle, but I mean, at least now we know where this cave is, so we can always come back. Ooh, I hear something crazy in here. Yo, what what is going on? Wait, what is that? Is that a lowland duck trio? It's gotta be, right? It is. <laughs> it just looks weird because it's like the low polygon model when you're far away from a Pokemon. It hasn't fully spawned in. But like I said, I actually have not caught Duck Trio yet, so let's grab it. Or not. Or not. This thing is also going to be kind of tough to lower its HP because it's steel type. We can't even run away. What the heck? Come on. <laughs> I just want to toss the quick ball at it again. Maybe I can use one of these Litwick, actually. I'm trying to evolve one of these Litwick. Oh, wait, what? It ran away. Why did it disappear? Where did it go? What the heck? You freaking duck trio, man. What? Why? All right, fine. I guess, I guess he doesn't want to be caught. We're going all the way through this cave. Someone said apparently we can find Mudkip. There's some water over here. But no Mudkip. Unless. Okay, no, there's nothing up here either. Except the Fire Pledge. Another Meteor. And the exit to the cave. So you can also get here through... The savannah biome? No, the coastal biome. Where the heck are we, man? Oh, it is next to the savannah biome. That's a bit of a tricky cave to find, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do one more run through. Just because I feel like there's something in here. Oh my gosh, it's not- It's too dark. My guy Morpeko is here. Was Morpeko not in Scarlet and Violet? I guess not, huh? I just remember it being so prominent in Sword and Shield. But yeah, I guess he wasn't in this game yet. Is this where we came from? Now I'm kind of lost, dude. This cave is confusing. I can't tell if this is where we were earlier or not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where we fought Doug Trio. so... We go this way... Oh, Marpeko was already in? Oh, yeah, it was in Kitakami. <gasps> Mudkip! Oh, my gosh! You guys were right! We got the Kip! <laughs> I forgot I had a shiny Litwick. I was like, what? We got a shiny Mudkip? No way! <laughs> I'm gonna quick ball it just because the blue matches nicely with Mudkip. And there we go. That's my boy. Did you guys know Mudkip was actually my first ever starter Pokemon? I mean, if you've watched my like top 10 Pokemon video, you probably did know that. But maybe, maybe you didn't know. 
So a little munch fun fact of the day. Pokemon, I think Sapphire was my first ever game. And I picked Mudkip. And I'm going to name it Finn. I don't know if I should keep my camera here or move it back to the other side. Because it's making nicknaming Pokemon a little rough. Yeah, let's add him to the party. Um, this Litwick should actually evolve right now too. So I guess we'll get rid of Ogre Pond. Send the Pokemon as is. Nice. Another one. And we also get this. Shiny Litwick. Ooh, that's kind of cool. The fire is purple. I didn't know that about Lampent. Alright, so I'm going to keep that one how it is. Well, actually, I guess... We have two Litwicks. Maybe I'll wait for this one to evolve. Got my shiny decks right here. I got I got the full line of shinies for this one because there's an event going on right now that makes them very easy to get. Oh, we also found this yesterday. Craziest shiny ever, dude. The one I've been most after my whole life pretty much, I feel. <laughs> Alright, who should we bring back? I guess we'll keep a spot open just in case we find any other starters. Yeah, I'll Dusk Stone the next one though. Whoa, Magmar. Calm down there, buddy. We don't want that forehead flopping around, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, another one! Okay. I guess this is the cave if you want Mudkip. There's definitely a hole up there. I don't know if we can reach though. Well, actually, I guess now that we have the fly ability. Let me explore up here first. I mean, some people. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure some people want to see Magmar flopping around. You're right. I sh I'm, not, I'm not one to judge. You know, to each their own. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of floppy Magmar. But, uh, it's all you. Yeah, this place is living up to the Labyrinth name. I'm, I'm very confused, but yo! The frick is that? Is that a Slowpoke? Why does it look like that? Bro, the lighting is making it look hella weird. There's no way that's a shiny. It's just the lighting is super duper weird. We got the the ultra shiny. What was that thing called in Pokemon Uranium? The... I forgot what they were called. Radioactive Pokemon? No, that was that's not what it was called, right? He looks so weird, man. I mean, I guess I'll catch it just because. <laughs> Critical catch. Nuclear Pokemon, that's what it was. Yeah, it looks like a nuclear Pokemon. I really thought it was something new, like... We discovered some, some new Pokemon somehow. <laughs> no one has ventured into this cave. But no, it was just Slowpoke. Now it looks like we can actually go even deeper. Oh, never mind, this just leads outside. Yeah, this cave is crazy. Whoa, this is a cool entrance for it, though. Like, right in the middle of the waterfalls. And under a bridge? I would never think to look in here. Oh, yo, actually, I need a flying-type Pokemon for one of my missions, right? Let me see if I can get a picture of it in flight first. Trumbeak, you want to fly for us, buddy? Do wild Pokemon not react to the music? I guess not, huh? No, he does not give one single beak. I do have the Galerica Twig, actually, so we could totally evolve our Slowpoke. Uh, but yeah, let me just catch this Trumbeak then, I guess. Thank you, Sleepy Panda. My birthday is December 21st, so... Less than a week to go. Five days. That, I didn't even realize how close it was. That's crazy. Hmm. 
I got myself a little mochi snack for today. Wait, can you take a picture of your own Pokemon? Or does it have to be wild? It says take a photo of a wild Pokemon in flight. Okay, so it has to be a wild Pokemon. And now it says to take a picture of a fighting Pokemon. The frick is that? Oh. <laughs> it looks so weird because of the leaves. Oh, yo, I don't think I have an Executor yet. Or at least not the Alolan form, right? I've been trying to catch this guy forever since literally the first hour of the DLC. Somehow I still don't have it. Come on. No, you stupid. Oh, I thought that was it, man. Well, you asked for it, Executor. What's up, Jocelyn? You haven't missed too much so far. I mean, unless you missed the last two streams. In that case, you've missed quite a lot, actually. <laughs> But at least for this stream so far, we're just doing BBQs. Trying to fill up the Pokedex. This thing has explosion. Oh my god. Why, man? Wait, you said Mochi. You know that is Peach Rot. What? This is Peach Rot? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Finally. He gave you a spoiler, mod slacking. I have no idea what peach rot means, so I don't think it really matters. Also, I feel like, okay. Sorry, I keep moving my camera because I always feel like I end up like this. Like with my face half off the screen. The cats are doing good. The other day we had a bit of a moment with cheese, but he's okay. <laughs> Basically, he got stuck in the washing machine room. Not inside the washing machine, but like the closet, basically. While my mom was at work. So he was probably a little bit bored for a couple hours, but he's okay. Today, they were fine, though. They were super hyper. Uh, so we bought this little like robot camera that we can like look at them, but also you can move it around the house. So I like to play tag with them. And my mom bought them like little balls, like toys. So I like to use the little robot and like push the ball around to play with them. Mac, for some reason, gets scared, but Cheese loves playing with the ball, so... Yeah, that's been fun. He got stuck because... I guess when my mom was leaving for work, or her husband, they didn't notice that he was in that room, and they locked the door. Or not locked it, but closed it. So he got stuck in there for the for the day, but he's okay. Nice, we got a Lolan Muck. Another one. I'm gonna keep all the starters on my squad too, just so we can get the evolutions for the Pokedex. And I don't think I have two cannon either. I see him back there. Oh my gosh, yo! So Viper, chill! What's going on? <laughs> What's up, Pokey Op? Welcome back. When you get the chance, you need to upgrade the clubhouse. Oh, dude, I actually did upgrade my clubhouse. I'm going to show you guys after uh, this session is done. I'm going to wait for one more group. Oh, wait, we already have a group quest. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Wait, were you guys waiting for me? <laughs> Might be. Am I in? The I'm in the coastal biome, though. And I already have two cannons, so never mind. Uh, let's meet up. 
so we can do this group quest then. I mean, there's three of us already here. I can see someone else is coming. Let's meet up on this beach. This seems like a good spot for it. Also, apparently Chikorita is somewhere around here. I don't see a Chikorita, but... Uh, usually when you see it in the map, it means like that Pokemon is nearby. Not exactly. It's not guaranteed to spawn, but if you just walk around, you'll, you'll see it eventually. Alright, let's go to the beach. Let's take a little beachy... Peachy. By peachy, I mean picture. Oh, there's a sleeping executor over there. Yo, the shiny Rayquaza. Oh my god, he's syncing up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get my selfie stick out. Everybody get ready. Get your best pose up. Wait, we're missing one person. There we go. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Alright, let me do one more actually. So you guys can get in a better pose, maybe. Uh, also, I want to do a pose. Yo, blue hair, get over here. Oh, there you go. Perfect. That's perfect. We got everybody in the frame. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys wanted to do a pose or not. There we go. All right. We just need blonde to do a pose. And then we're set. Hey, there we go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. I like that. That's a good photo. Thank you guys so much for helping out with the BBQs. I don't know how much exactly I contributed. I feel like I did not do much. We might as well wait for at least some of these mores to be done because this one at least we get a lot of points from. I got to catch a steel Pokemon. Yo, how come my red quest keeps disappearing though? I don't know why my red quest keeps disappearing. Mamoswine! I love Mamoswine. Oh, yo. Wait, I have Pinky Peck already. What? I guess I have the whole line. I didn't even realize. <gasps> Poplio! What? We got another starter. Oh, there's two of them. We got another Poplio over there. The shiny Iron Valiant. That looks so sick. And a critical capture. I think that's the first starter that we've gotten a crit capture on. But no, I have not caught Trico yet, so we gotta... I mean, there's still a lot I haven't caught. I don't have a... Litten, either. Which is one of my other favorite starter Pokemon. Didn't I use a Poplio in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon? That sounds familiar, but I can't quite remember. I'm pretty sure I had Primarina. What did I call it? Or her, or him. I know in my original Sun and Moon, I used Litten, obviously. El Tigre. That's my boy. Oh, Navy. Yeah, Navy the Poplio. That shows you how much I remember Ultra Sun and Moon. <laughs> There's another one over here, too. I mean, maybe we can get two. Why not? Get the living decks going. Litten is in the canyon. Yeah, we'll get to him eventually. I still need to get a steel type, and then I need to auto battle some stuff. Let's go see if we can find uh, Chikorita, actually. Because apparently Chikorita is nearby here. I also wanted to... Wait, is it still here? Oh, it says it's on the beach. What? No, there's no way Chikorita's on the beach. I feel like it would be around here somewhere. I mean, maybe it can spawn on the beach. Oh! Look at that! <laughs> the starter whisperer strikes again. I just be speaking these starter Pokemon into existence, bro. It's crazy. The pear! Is Chikorita really a pear? I mean, I guess. It does look like kind of pear-shaped. I've always thought it was like a dinosaur by because of Meganium. And Bailey, they're kind of dinosaur shaped. It's just pear shaped. Oh, you like calling it that. Okay, well, what is Chikorita then? Anybody know what the frick this thing is? Like, for real? I'm curious, how does Bulbapedia describe Chikorita? 
Nice, first try. It just says leaf Pokemon. It's a small pale green quadruped with dark green buds. Its head is large, has big red eyes. They, they don't even describe it as anything, any kind of creature or animal. But then the trivia says it's based on sauropods, so it is kind of a dinosaur. It's based off the long-necked dinosaurs. And it loves to bask in the sunlight. Great. It's a pear dinosaur. That's, that's what we're going to stick with. <laughs> Apparently I have a Cyndaquil too? Oh yeah, because Legends Arceus. There was an event going on where you could get uh, the hidden ability starters in Pokemon Home and I'm pretty sure I transferred those into this game, so... I definitely have the Hisuian starters already, but not their evolutions. I never did the Terra Raid battles for those, which is a bit of a bummer, but... I mean, it's alright. Alright, let me see. Is Litwick almost evolved, bro? Like, I kind of just want to use an XP candy so we can get something else training. That's not going to be enough. <laughs> I, I did extra small, like, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe two more? There we go. Good job, Litwick. You can still get them if you have the app for Pokemon Home on your phone. Yeah, the starters you can still get, but I'm talking about the evolutions. You would have to evolve them in Hisui, I'm assuming. Alright, now this chandelure, or lampant, I mean, we're going to use Dusk Stone on. In order to get ourselves a shiny chandelure. Which is actually a really sick shiny. I know this one. I don't know from what. But I think someone traded me a shiny chandelure once. Oh my god. Dude. Okay, it looks so much better in Scarlet and Violet though. Like... This is one of those Pokemon that actually, I feel, looks just as good, if not better, in 3D. That's- that's awesome. But yeah, I forgot to organize my boxes, so everything's just been getting messed up. We got BB. Putting all my blueberry Pokemon in here. And then I had a box for just starter Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where the frick that went, though. I need to organize my life, man. Oh, is this it? No. No, that's just breeding. I have no idea where my box for, for starter Pokemon went, so I guess we'll just do- Oh, here it is, BB3. Okay, so BB3. And then, where did the other stuff we just caught go? Let's put Chandelure in here. Should I evolve my Beldum, actually? Let's keep Beldum in the party. We'll, we'll try to evolve him. Real quick, I guess we can get a uh, Galarian Slowpoke. Or Slowbro or Slow King. I don't know which one we're going to get, but we have a Galeric Twig somewhere in here. Aha! Oh my god, I have five of them. Wait, you have to give it to him? I thought you just had to use it on him. Does he actually have to evolve? Oh. Someone's here. Who is it? Oh, I don't I don't know what to say. We have someone knocking at our door, so we'll be quiet for a little bit. I'll figure this out. I think they're doing elevator repair. They can come in here. I'm not going to stop streaming. <laughs> it's a firefighter. Wait, really? Yeah. What the hell? I don't know if he's going to come in here, though. He didn't say anything. We'll see if he knocks. <laughs> uh, that's not my fault. Know. He's coming into my house, bro. <laughs> Wait, isn't the fire thing downstairs, though? The extinguisher. I don't know, whatever. Uh, what was I doing? 
Claim victory in a Terra raid battle. Make a bitter sandwich. Yeah, no, we're, we're changing this one up. Give your Pokemon a nice washing. We can do that real quick. Let me wash my Beldum, actually. Can you just do that in the picnic? Okay, wait, if I just hide my webcam, he'll never know that I'm using my face. <laughs> that I'm recording the, with the camera. <laughs> Is he actually coming up, though? Yeah, probably. Oh, there you go. Alright, let him in. I'm hiding the camera, guys. He'll never know. Don't say anything, alright? <laughs> chat, don't- chat, no one say anything. Wait, how do I wash my Pokemon? Uh... What? I totally forgot- Oh, Wash! Okay, hold on, where is he? Wash! It's a Wash! Yo! Come here, there we go! <laughs> this is so weird, I feel like we're just polishing him at this point. I mean, he is gonna look real nice and even shinier than usual. If we do this. Hmm? It's gonna get very loud in here. Oh. Okay. Oh, are you gonna mute it? Yeah. Alarm? Wait, why'd you take off my headphone? I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> A good, that's a nice sound. <laughs> Take a photo with friends wearing something other than school uniforms. This is this is definitely an interesting part of the stream, I'll say. <laughs> what are they saying? Nothing. We just ASMR. <laughs> it's ambient. ASMR house explodes. We got ambient alarm noises. I love that. Alright, apparently we gotta take another picture. I should probably start a new group though, because we've done like three group quests already. So let's meet up in the middle. And we'll do that. We got one more alarm, I think. <laughs> Alright, I'll be waiting in the middle. We have to wear something other than the blueberry. Oh, the other than school uniforms. Wait, what? So, like, I guess we can wear the teal mask kimono? Does this count? As not a school uniform? I think so, right? It's a tracksuit. We'll do that. Yes. Nice. Got the kimono. We got the tracksuit. I think I have the blue kimono, actually. Maybe we can all have different one. Or do I? Yeah, we have the deep blue. No, I like the other thing I was wearing better. All right, we're missing one person. We need the last person, please. Who's missing? Is it Frogger? Frogger, where are you at? No, it's not Frogger. It's someone else. I actually have no idea where they are, though. <laughs> Wait, are they even in Blueberry? This man left Blueberry. Unless they actually are here, and I'm just not... Oh, never mind. They're here. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's here. Let's go. All right. Picture time. Amazing. My face. My character's face. 
All right, thank you so much, everybody, for joining on the Blueberry Quest. And also, we back. I guess the inspection is done. There was there was four alarms in here that they had to check. Um, dude, that's crazy. The alarms. It's 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 better than the American alarm. I'll say the freaking super loud like screeching sound. This one just does a little beep and then it goes warning fire. <laughs> like it has the courtesy of telling you what's happening. I like that. All right, let's do one more round of this. Oh, I, I forgot. I wanted to show you guys the club room. I mean, I guess we might as well get more blueberry points before we show it off. Dude, I really need to update my leak card. Like, I'm still using when I had orange hair. That was like the first five episodes of the playthrough. What? He's gonna come back. Oh, is is our apartment on fire? There, there's another one that he missed up here, but his stick is too. Oh, that one. In there. Oh. But he says he has to change his. Oh, but it's like back there. It's right there. Okay, then you can close the door so they don't see him. No, he's not. <laughs> he's gonna come back. Okay. Okay. Um. What? Did something happen? He's so cute. <laughs> so there are five alarms in this like 400 or 300 square foot apartment. It is super small. There is a camera in our shoe closet, oh, a camera. There was an alarm in our shoe closet. What? Yeah, he was checking all the rooms and then he was like, oh, shoe closet, check. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he opens it and there was an alarm in the shoe closet. What? <laughs> and basically how they check is he has this stick that at the very end, it's like, um, like a like a lantern. Yeah, it's like and, a cup kind of shape. And yeah, and it goes over the alarm, and then he ch and then it creates smoke, so it emulates. Oh, that's why he was like wafting. <laughs> yeah. I see. So yeah, because um, I saw him wafting the smoke. I was like, what is he doing? Yeah, it's a, that's how they check. They it's like, like a little lamp light stick. They like, stimulate a fire. Ah. Smoke. So he said he's gonna come back. Cause he missed one. Dude, that's some innovation. In the U.S., they just straight up make it go <laughs> off. There's five alarms in here, and uh, they heard right. Our alarm is like fire, fire. Yeah, it's a warning. Fire, fire. <laughs> He's so cute. He was like, "Come back, good. come back." Good. I was like, "Okay, you'll come back." <laughs> well, thank you for dealing with that. Cause, yeah. I feel bad. Our place is a mess. I mean, we didn't know that was gonna happen today. There was a there was a sign in our building that said that they're gonna check the elevator, but that's like next week, I think. Actually, it's on Christmas oh, Day. I felt bad. Oh, oh there he is. he is. Also, apparently, we got a super chat that you can see right there. Thank you so much, Leaf Green, for the five. Do you know that Chandelure, his original hidden ability was Shadow Tag, but they replaced it to Infiltrator. Oh, there it is. Thanks to upgrade 20 cruz for the 5 super chat. Moto, you know that Sandelur is original hidden ability was a doubt but they replace it to infiltrator players. It never uh -oh. got a chance on Gen 5. I think he's here, guys. Oh, oh. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. <laughs> Alright, we back. We got a new squad with a shiny Luna. What, what is that? Lurantis? And a toad school dude yo everybody flexing the shinies that's so dope hold on let me flex my own shiny where's my beldum get out here argent nice shiny gang let's go thank you again though leaf green uh i didn't know that actually but i guess we can check real quick i don't even know what infiltrator does Oh, well, we have flash fire anyway. Nice. Something's happening. <laughs> this man's was just blowing gas. Oh, well, we already have a special. Oh, battle, yeah. Battle the wild terror Pokemon. Okay, that's pretty easy to do. That's better than uh, the one we had before. Okay, so what what happened? Do we have an update? <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? Why was there two? Huh? There was two of them. Oh, yeah, there were two guys. One went to the balcony, right? He said, there's no, 
we don't have a ladder at our on our balcony. Oh. Yeah, and I was kind of like, okay. Wait, and why do we need a ladder on our balcony? Like, like an emergency ladder, like in case the building. Oh. But I did. I just said okay, and he's like, oh, no problem. And I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> And he was like, mm, thank you, thank you. And maybe maybe they just recommend having a ladder, but you don't need one. Yeah, I don't, did he go out? Yeah, yeah, he went out to the balcony. Well, our house is a mess. I'm so embarrassed. Wow. Sorry, stream can't see it. Like, this is dirty. They probably think we're some dirty Americans. I mean, we kind of are. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed now. <laughs> I'm wearing my socks. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm cozy. I know. <laughs> yeah, he has a ladder, but everything. He brought another stick, a different stick entirely to check this one. What, what did this stick do? It was like the same thing. It was like a torch, but it was longer and it had like a bigger funnel. Oh. And then he said, oh, this alarm is a different type of alarm. Oh, I see. Maybe that's like the main one. Yo, Grassy Glide is back. Rillaboom is back? <laughs> Actually, I haven't caught a Grookey yet. Okay, I need to find a wild Terra Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's one over there, right? Oh no, that's a freaking raid then. We don't need the raid. Rillaboom is back, baby! <laughs> that was that was quite a, an adventure. So if you guys are confused what's been going on the last couple minutes. Did they hear the I don't know. I don't know if they heard. I mean, I didn't mute, but I don't know if they heard the alarm exactly. Did you guys hear our amazing alarm that is not as terrifying as the American ones? I thought it was going to be loud. Yeah, they heard it. They heard it, apparently. I thought it would be like a loud American. That's what I thought, too. I thought we were going to be ringing in here. Like, I'm going to have to duck for cover. But, no, it just, it does a little jingle, and then it says, warning, warning, fire. <laughs> Yeah, it's not it's not terrifying. Nope. Ooh, another Chikorita. Actually, I saw that we have like uh, an outbreak somewhere around here that I haven't, or for a Pokemon that I don't know. Oh wait, maybe maybe I was tripping. Never mind. I thought I had a. Oh, there's a Poplio outbreak though. What? Oh, I think that was it, because I I didn't have Poplio earlier, but now we do. I could get a shiny Poplio. Um, but what starter should we go for next? I guess we haven't really explored the canyon biome that well. Let's go see. Shiny Pop Leo kind of dookie. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Charmander. Yeah, we haven't gotten Charmander. Do I even have Scraggy? I don't even have Scraggy yet, bro. What am I doing with my life? I love Scraggy. Especially the hoodlum variety. Ooh, I feel like, I mean, yeah, we're just gonna quick ball. I don't have Tepig yet either. I do have Chimchar though. I don't think I even have Squirtle either. We should definitely try to get a Squirtle so you can have the full OG starter game. Yeah, they were, they were. Dude, Japanese service workers, or just in general, like people working in Japan, are always so kind. And so, uh. <laughs> yeah. Anytime I go to the grocery store, I feel like it's my grandma working there. Like, they're just so sweet. Yo! Love Disc Evolution? Oh yeah, I'm not wearing my glasses today. I didn't even notice, to be honest. I mean, usually I wear my glasses. I only need them to see from far away. It's like my screen for the stream is not that far, but... Actually, my glasses are kind of dirty. I'm not going to wear them. <laughs> I need to clean them. But yeah, they're four far away, like I'm nearsighted, so I can see fine up close, but like when I'm driving, for example, I need my glasses. 
That's scary. I can see. I just can't read the signs. Like, I can drive. Not at night, though. At night, I, I don't want to drive. Bro, maybe I'm just dumb, but I actually never realized that Scrafty is literally called the Hoodlum Pokemon. <laughs> Suddenly, everything makes sense. That's cool. Alright, we're at, uh, 140. Yo, okay, 60 more Pokemon to go. <laughs> we got this, guys. We totally got this. Even if we don't actually complete the decks, as long as we get the 200 that we need for the legendaries, that's that's my goal for today. Yo, Skarmory! Okay, that's another new one. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my, it noticed me! Look away, Skarmory! Or at least let me get behind you real quick. Come on, bro. Whatever, I'm sure we can probably still quick ball it. We also got a whole ass Haxorus, yeah. Oh, that's a Stellar type. I just noticed that's a Stellar type Haxorus. Which, if you don't know, is the new type of Terrapagos. Oh, yo, I see a Cranidos. That's one of the version exclusives. Oh, bro, should I just run from this Skarmory? I don't want that Cranidos to run away because I feel like it's kind of rare. Oh, never mind. Come on, let me out of here, please. I need that crany dose, please. Don't care about Skarmory. It's cool, yes, Skarmory's great. But I need that crany dose. Also, Galarian Slowpoke didn't evolve. What do you do with the twig then? I don't even know, bro. All right, chill out. Oh, we didn't get the back strike, whatever. Yeah, I did find this shiny Beldum yesterday. So far, every stream we've gotten at least one shiny. So what's the shiny gonna be for today? We'll have to wait and find out. But I have a feeling we're, we're gonna find one. It's, it's pretty much guaranteed at this point. Oh, you have to make the wreath. That's what it is. Nice, we got Cranny Dose though. It used its skillful headbutts to combat Aerodactyl? What? It's freaking wild, bro. I could not imagine this tiny thing trying to fight Aerodactyl. I feel like Aerodactyl would kick its ass. It just flies above it. Like, how would Cranidos even reach up that high? That makes no sense, bro. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe it uses it to defend itself from its, like, claws. <gasps> Trico! Another starter! Let's go! I swear I just saw something flying above. Oh, it's a meat icon. Yo, we got Trico. Get in there. Oh, sad. So sad. I mean, no, I don't want to risk running away, especially after that Doug Trio earlier. We ran and it just decided to dip. Yeah, I heard about Shedtail Sceptile. Oh, dude, your name is literally Sceptile. That's cool. I can see why you were asking if I caught Trico then. I didn't even realize that was why. Oh, yeah, true. We could get uh, Shield on to spawn if there's a Violet player around. So if anyone that's playing with me right now wants to, like, hang out in the canyon biome, you know, I'm, I'm out here. I'm, I'm out here and I'm... Excited to get myself a shield on. <laughs> Critical capture on that one, too. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, that's you, Shiny Ditto? I see two players, actually, around me right now. <laughs> Someone was, like, waving in the background. Or maybe I'm tripping. Let me see once this Trico goes away. Mudkip! Let's go! Get it, Finn! We got Marshtomp! 
Dude, Marsh Tomp is the stuff of nightmares. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, in the original Ruby Sapphire Emerald, there's that one rival battle after Slateport City. Like, on the way to Mobile, though, there's that bridge, right? And your, your rival has the middle evolution. I lost that rival battle so many times as a kid. It was crazy, man. Oh, double evolution! The zoom in on Bulbasaur. <laughs> that was kind of funny looking. We got Ivysaur too! Hell yeah, dude! The more sunlight it bathes in, the more strength wells up within, allowing the bud on its back to grow larger. Okay, we just need to grow a little bit bigger for the final evolution. Oh, nice. We got the, the quest to take photo in the coastal biome. And I got to make a salty sandwich. Maybe I'll do a shiny sandwich, actually. You can try to shiny hunt for something. Well, I'm not going to actively shiny hunt, but as we're running around, you never know. We might run into something. Which reminds me, I probably should have ate that uh, special dish from the club room. I don't think the Violet player is nearby anymore, is, are they? Oh no, they are. What? They're right here. Okay, well let's see if we can get shield on to spawn by just walking around. I feel we got pretty lucky with the Crany Dose, but you never know. Oh, there's another Crany Dose. I mean, I guess I could just catch another one and maybe if we don't end up finding shield on, we can just trade. Alright, bro, fine. We're freaking aggressive, so let's fight. We're trying to fight, right? Let's fight! You got a shiny Smeargle. Nice, good luck. Or... Good job? <laughs> I don't know why I said good luck. No! Beldum! How could I do this to you? I think you gotta be in their game. No, I think just as long as they're nearby you. Because yesterday we got a Lowland Sandshrew to spawn in. Which is apparently a Violet exclusive too. Okay, come on. The Quick Ball didn't work, but this Dust Ball's got it. Ooh, what I say? What did I say? But yeah, any version exclusive Pokemon, if you're playing online with a player of the opposite version, as long as they're nearby you, and you're in the proper area that the Pokemon spawns, you, you have a chance of it actually spawning, I believe. Oh, we got, we got another Trico. Oh, don't kill the Trico! Oh, yo, didn't I have a quest to get a shot, or a fighting Pokemon? No, I was gonna catch that! I took too long! <laughs> hey, there it is, look at that! There's actually two of them. I see another one in the back. <laughs> I needed that Tyrogue though, man. Come on. I should have fought it before Lurantis killed it. It's alright though. At least we got our shield on, which is the more important one. Yo, a shiny Eevee! Oh my god! <laughs> what is that thing doing? <laughs> also, how am I going to weaken this shield on? Should I just Hypnosis and, and just... Wait, what's happening? Oh, someone else is trying to catch shield on. Okay. I'm like, what's going on? This Eevee's just giving it a stare down. Oh my god, am I dead? Okay, never mind. It's going for Endure. Bless you. And I missed, didn't I? Gosh dang it. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Just hit the hypnosis. There we go. Dude, that other guy is struggling to cast shield on, too. What the heck? This thing is rough. But we both struggling right now. Okay, I got mine asleep, at least. And we got Dusk Ball. Oh, man. What the heck? And it wakes up immediately, too? And it kills us! Alright, this shield on 
The shield on is a little nuts. Maybe we can weaken it with the... Uh, no, Mudshot would probably kill it. I mean, I guess maybe... I don't want to risk killing it, bro. Come on, Ivysaur. Don't kill it, man. Please don't kill it. Power Whip does 120 power. It's a bit of a risk, but it is half steel type. Wait, I see a Bastiodon in the background. That's not a wild one, though, is it? I think that's... Yeah, no, that's someone's Bastiodon that's fighting that Cranidos. Oh, it has 30 anyway, you're right. Well, I think it- I don't know if it's guaranteed to have Surdy. But it can have Surdy, so... Either way, I hope this is it, come on. Yes! Finally! We got it. What's up, Make Magan? Magan Hassan! We have not caught the Legendary yet. We need 200 Pokemon in order to even get it to spawn or unlock the quest for it, so we're, we're on our way. We're going the distance. Oh my god, it's a wild Bastidon! <laughs> Alright, what other quest do we have right now? I gotta make a salty sandwich, take a photo with a Pokemon in the polar biome, Pokemon swimming. I guess we go back to the coastal biome, just so we can take our photo. Thank you though, Violet players, hooking it up so your boy can get a shield on. I would check and see if maybe there's another one around, just because I also want Bastiodon, but I mean, we can just evolve the one we just caught. I was going to catch this Haxorus, but no, nah, I'm not feeling it anymore. Uh, let's just go complete our quest. Take a photo with your friends in the coastal biome. Alright, let's go. Oh, oh, okay. I guess we are fighting this thing then. <laughs> are you streaming tomorrow too? Probably not. I think I'm going to need a break tomorrow. But also, I, I, I'm hoping to complete everything today. Everything that we're still missing. I'm going to terrestrialize on your ass, buddy. Let's go. If we can get the two Paradox Pokemon and the secret boss today, then I'll be, I'll be satisfied and we can take a break tomorrow. <laughs> or I guess just be done with the DLC, really. Um, but I might come back and stream at some point, like, either shiny hunting or just messing around or just something entirely different, like a different game. I also want to do a Japan mukbang stream, which might be around Christmas. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of snacks, Japanese snacks, and rate which ones are the best. So yeah, look out for that. Uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can catch this Haxorus. Oh, okay. We crit catching Haxoruses nowadays. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. What are your thoughts on the Persona 6 announcement? Wait, that happened? I don't even know that happened. I thought Persona 6 was a pipe dream. We're going to get Perso Persona 5 forever. I haven't played the new Persona 5 Tactica game yet, though, but I heard good things. Alright, let's go to the Coastal Biome real quick for this pick. Uh, I see someone's already here. I mean, I'm just gonna fly to this rest area. If you guys want to meet up there. And we need a heal, too. You're right about that. I should also probably put away our Arcanine, but in case we do somehow run into something actually tough like that Haxorus, we kind of need him. Also, yeah, I don't know what the heck to do with this twig. Someone did say it in chat. Apparently, there's a girl you talk to to uh, combine the twigs into the actual wreath. 
but I don't know exactly where that's at. It's some beach, apparently. The frick? Where did this or- I was about to catch that Oricorio. Whoa. What's wrong with my game, bro? Why did I get the little speed lines? I'm not even on Koraidon. <laughs> oh, there's a- there's a Pokemon in this tree. Dude, it took me so long to catch Slack off in the base Scarlet and Violet. Now he's just chilling. He's not falling though, he doesn't care. What the heck? Why are all Pokemon despawning? I just saw Comfy right there and then it disappeared. Okay, at least we have another one right here. Alright. Get in there! Oh man. Oh, she's in the coastal biome? Alright, I'll look I'll look around in a little bit. <clears throat> what should I name my Pidgeot? It's the classic Pidgeot nickname. You gotta go with Yegdip. This is Pidgey backwards. Bird Jesus. That's another good one. Twitch plays Pokemon. That was quite a time in history. What's up, some guy? How you doing? Yeah! Another one. I feel like we're maybe 50 away now? Oh, I see a Meowstic too. I don't think I have Meowstic yet. Or Esper. Who's this some guy? <laughs> is this some guy on the internet? I don't know. I don't know who he is. I ain't never met him. Got Meowstic though. Throwback to the Pokemon X and Y playthrough. Where I had a Lolliette. Except, Lolliette was the female Meowstic variant. But still, I love Esper. Ooh, Beldum with the level up. You know what that means, right? We get another one in the decks. Because I don't think I've actually caught a Matang yet. But not just any Matang. It's a shiny Matang! Yeah, look at him! Metagross, just the whole line. Beldum, Matang, Metagross. Has got to be one of the best shinies out there. It's formed by two Beldum joining together. I actually never knew that. I mean, I knew that its legs look like Beldum. But I didn't know it was literally two Beldum combined. So it's kind of like... Duck Trio? I mean, you can't even see the eye on the, the hand anymore. But I guess that makes sense. That's why it has two eyes. Does that mean Metagross has four eyes? I think I'm just, I'm just making stuff up now. That's pretty cool, though. A little bit of lore right there. <gasps> Grookey! Oh? Oh. <laughs> Keren just showed me a tweet that apparently... Meloetta has still not been found. If you guys don't know, Meloetta is supposedly in the DLC. But no one has been able to figure it out how to actually get it to appear. There's like hints in the game that there's like a breeze that blows or something like that. But no one has actually found it. Oh my god, Grookey! Why did you do that, buddy? What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, at least we know he's around here. Also, I think the other... The gang is ready for the picture. Well, we got two over here. We still need one more person. Unless they're at the... 
No, yeah, we still need one more person. It's gonna be like Keldeo and Sword and Shield. Yeah, how... How did people figure out how to get Keldeo? I know, but I... I'm saying like originally, before the guys came out. I feel like Keldeo wasn't that cryptic, was it? Wasn't it? Didn't it have to do with the footprints? I don't remember. <laughs> do you remember? The footprints were the other three Swords of Justice, but then I don't know about Keldeo. And you had, you had to do curry. You had to cook for it. So maybe Meloetta, you have to make a special sandwich. Yeah, yeah, Meloetta. Oh, me yeah, with the camera, you can play music now, so... I feel like it might be sandwich too though, or maybe both. Like a certain sandwich. I don't know. Yo, where's the last person? We need to take this picture, come on. I don't even know if they're around anymore. Wait, did someone disconnect? I'm not seeing the last person. Unless, hold on, I can see under my camera. Oh yeah, never mind, someone disconnected. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, might be. It's only three of us. Alright, well. We got two. I, I should have probably checked that first. Um. I'm also keeping an eye out for any Grookies. I hope this still counts. Like, if the person disconnected. Oh, nice! It still completed it. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for helping out. Uh, we're gonna do one more session of this, but, uh... Ooh, there's an Esper nearby. Let's see if I can get him real quick. Also, Grookey. I need my redemption at Grookey, bro. He really just did that to us. And I won't stand for it. But I know it's around. Somewhere. What is that? Oh, Trumbeak? Got Grimer. No, I think I went too far away now. There's different Pokemon spawning. Monkey! Oh, Monkey! There's no monkey. A lowland forms. <clears throat> what do you think of the Unova references and the music? Oh, when I first heard it, I went crazy, man. Like the battle theme for wild Pokemon and then Drift Fail. Drift Fail is the one that everyone notices is because like it's such a meme. I mean, it's basically like the national anthem of Unova at this point. Like, everyone knows the Drift Vale theme. So when I heard that in the coastal biome, I think it was, that's when I absolutely lost it. But there's actually a lot of references, not just in that in that one song. It's not just Drift Vale. There's like references to three different themes from different routes from Unova. What is this cave? Oh, okay, it's nothing special. Wow, I almost got arrested. What? <laughs> I'm actually trying to like figure out all of the references in the music, but I don't know. I'm not that good with Pokemon music. Like I can recognize the really iconic ones, but there's a lot that I'm just like, I couldn't name them, you know? I recognize it and I can hum along, but I don't know what exact route it is. But yeah, in general, I love the music in this DLC. A lot of people are taking it to mean that we're getting Unova remakes, but you gotta keep in mind that Blueberry Academy is literally in Unova. So, of course, the music is gonna be similar to Unova. 
Bro, come on, Grookey. Are you really going to be the, the hardest one to find? Oh, hey, at least we got Esper. Yeah, like right there, you can hear a little bit of drift fail. Ooh, nice. Critical catch. Oh, did we just unlock another group quest already? Gosh dang, we're, we're tearing through him right now. Catch the Pokemon that matches the hint. Grass and Psychic. So basically, Executor. I mean, I doubt there's a Calyrex out here. <laughs> there's also no female Meow Sticks for some reason. I'm only seeing male. I also still have to make that spicy sandwich. Or salty or whatever. Another mm, Esper. Is this female? Wait, it doesn't even show the gender. What the heck? I think that's a thing you can upgrade in the club room. You can see the gender of the Pokemon before catching it. You can see a lot of things, actually, like if they have a mark. Is this a female? Maybe the one I caught is female. I didn't even... I wasn't paying attention. Oh, here we go. Nice. What's up, Mighty Eagle? And Terrapagos Girl, welcome. How you guys doing? Yeah, we gotta catch Execute or Executor. Grass and Psychic type. Have we been in this cave yet? Dude, I'm getting paranoid about this Grookey. Every little bit of grass I see, I think it's him. Whoa, Slacking! What's up, man? <laughs> Just lounging about, I see. Synchronizing with slacking is the most hilarious thing. Like, I was not expecting him to just get up like that. I don't know why I thought, like, it just wouldn't move. Like, that would low-key be hilarious if you synchronize with certain Pokemon, they just don't do anything. Tentacool? Oh, Toads. I have Toad School. Yeah, Toad School is freaking funny. Oh, you saw the. You saw how you him? No. Do we need to check this out right now? Wait, Toad School or Tentacool? Uh, I think it's... I don't know, it's one of those. And I saw a video of someone that used it on something and it was funny. Alright, let me see. Gotta organize this real quick. Uh, okay, Meow Stick. I got my two espers. Oh, they, it was a female, the first one. And then... Chikorita. Alright, let me see if I can find my Toad School. There it is. Go, Toad School! <laughs> oh my god. Yo, you trying to fight? Trying to fight, bro? I'm not trying to fight. <laughs> no, it looks so cartoony. Can you uh, can you run faster? Oh, you oh. can. <laughs> oh, oh, he's dead. <laughs> Just ran straight into the school bully. Have you seen its evolution, though? Look, we got body, man. Now it's time to get revenge. Daddy's coming. Oh, that's weird. What the hell? <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable. That makes me uncomfortable. Oh, because you don't like things with a lot of legs. Yeah, I found that. I don't like things. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, he can't. <laughs> I don't- his toad school sucks! I don't know what- what, what did I do? 
I mean, it was really low level, so I was expecting that, but still. Alright. Did anyone catch that execute yet? No, no one's caught it. Wow. I'm gonna make a salty sandwich. Whoa! That's so cool, the shadow above. Uh, let me check. I have my shiny sandwich recipes. Like, I have a guide for how to make them. I don't know if... What type it is. Apparently with Salty Herba Mystica, you can do... Ooh, a, a salty and a sour herb will make a grass-type sandwich. Shiny sandwich. So we could try and do that. I feel like I should save the game first just in case I mess this up. But also, I need a lettuce, and I don't think I have a lettuce. So let's just go catch this execute for the mission, and then we'll... We'll do it separately, like, in single player real quick. Because Grookey ain't spawning right now, bro. I've been able to speak every other starter into existence except Grookey. Apparently that was the last Grookey in existence, and it just killed itself with Woodhammer. Tragic, I know. Yeah, no, there's no- there's nothing. There's nothing! Grookey Gang, what's going on? Grookey Gamers! Oh my god, that Deerling! Thought that was it. Where is Execute anyway? I feel like I remember seeing it in the very beginning. Like around here? Try synchronizing as execute. I haven't done it yet. That's why I'm still looking for it. I think I have an execute. I don't know which box it's going to be in though, but... Got Pride Rock over there. Come on, execute. Where are you at? I know I saw a lot of them when I first started the playthrough. So we gotta go, like, back towards the entrance. Yo, there's a Bibrava outbreak! Howdy, boys! Take a photo of Pokemon in Polar Biome? Nah. Ooh, this is a rough area to shiny hunt because of all the rocks around and stuff. And there's some eggs right here. Where's the execute at? Or, I mean, there was a nest. What the heck? Oh, this is a person. <laughs> I'm like, what, is, what kind of trainer is this? What does that mean when you're doing three dots like that? Oh, you found execute? Oh, you gotta catch it, I think. And then we can complete the mission. <gasps> Rowlet! It's him! It's the chosen one! I think he's dying. <laughs> oh, was that the person that disconnected from our group? <laughs> Lazy. Nice. We got the round boy! Do you know that Savannah Biome is a reference from the Safari Zone? Like the music? Or just the Savannah Biome in general? Cool Shout out to Kern for this nickname. What? This is your nickname for him, right? He looks like a dango. Dango! He's so cute. Dango is a type of mochi, isn't it? That's what I actually- I think I had a dongle this morning. Or no, I had a- I had some mochi, but I don't know what kind it was. They're like the little ones that's on the stick, right? Oh my god, another one! I guess Rowlet's kind of common, at least compared to Grookey. But where are the eggs at? I need them scrambled right now, come on. What is that? Oh, Milsery Outbreak. Oh, never mind. Someone else did it. 
All right, good job, Stella. <laughs> you did what I could not. Ooh, Protector, yo. We can evolve uh, Rhyperior now. Heck yeah. I think I have the other two also, the Electorizer and the Magmarizer, so we can get Magmortar, Electivire. Although some people were saying you can find them in Terra Raids too. Bro, we're just finding so many Rowlets right now. They seem like they're pretty common in this part. Unlike a certain other grass Pokemon, that is. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the middle then. Well, I, th I don't think I actually have to go to the middle. We can just disband the group from anywhere. Or can we? Is it here? Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, thank you Santiago and Stella for helping out. Appreciate you guys. Now before I make another group, I want to test out this sandwich real quick. Come on, you can't just get me off of Koraidon and set up the picnic. One of my missions is to make a shiny, or no, not a shiny, but just a spicy sandwich. Or salty, I mean. So I'm curious. Oh, I don't even have the lettuce, I just realized. Do I? No, I don't have any lettuce. Oh wait, I do! Okay, so you just do a lettuce, and then apparently a salty and a sour. I don't know if that's gonna count as a salty sandwich, though. Oh yeah, I got these from Crispin. Let's put that one. Yeah, the sandwich theme is pretty good. I, I like it a lot more than the curry theme, at least. Wow, what a- oh, there's still one more. What a sandwich right there. That's a diet sandwich if I've ever seen one. Not even though, because you still got bread in there. <laughs> Bread's kind of fattening. I mean, I'd eat it. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> it's bread and lettuce. <laughs> With a little bit of seasoning on there. I mean, low-key, just lettuce with salt isn't that bad. Oh, is it sour? Did we make a sour sandwich instead of salty? Ew, I have something on my tooth. We got sparkling power grass. Man, come- what? Why did that count as salt? It freaking counted as sour, not salty. Alright, well, I guess I'm resetting. I don't want to do that. Maybe if we did it the other way around, like use the sour first, then the salt. I don't think it would have really made a difference though. Yeah, let's go check out the club room because we got quite a lot of blueberry points racked up. Okay, I'm checking the time in my game because... I'm making sure it's still the same day because I have a special surprise for you guys. That you will see in just a little bit. I also don't know if that resets our quest. No. Okay, it's still the same quest. Now I told you guys that I was grinding something off screen. To try to get the secret boss, right? Let's go to the club room. And there should be someone special there waiting for us. Someone I can't wait for you guys to see. Oh, also, I changed my club room. Dude, this theme... Oh my god. Not, not the music, but like this decoration for the club room is insane right off the bat you got black city and white forest you know the confirmed then you take a look over here it's the lighthouse or sorry the ferris wheel where we went on a date with n you see the hexagons on the wall i think that's reminiscent of the d-link from black and white also 
uh, the thing on the bottom screen, touch screen of the DS. Then you got some Unovan Pokemon up on the whiteboard. I can't quite tell. No, that's not anything. Uh, but looking over here, we got some more Unova Pokemon on the wall. There's all the starters, Excadrill, Gotharita, Blitzel, P-Dub, and I can't tell what that last one is. Oh, Fungus! Of course, you gotta have Fungus. Minchino too? Wait, where did you see Minchino? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Minchino's right there. It's freaking cute. Uh, over on this wall, we got the Sky Arrow Bridge with Golurk flying. That's so cool. This is sick, this artwork. Got some more hexagons. Obviously, the black and white. Everything, pretty much. Wait, there's no teachers here. Did I not save? I could have sworn I invited a certain teacher in here. But they're gone now. Whatever. You guys will see in a second, but... Yeah, there's also Blitzel. More hexagons. And then there's this thing right here, which I'm not really too sure about. It looks like a Cryogonal, though, which is a Gen 5 Pokemon. But I don't know if this is always here or not. In every room. I don't think so. This is probably, like, exclusive to this room. Really, really cool, though. I love this club room. Uh, but another thing that I've been doing is battling these guys. All of the BB Elite Four. You can do rematches with them. And then randomly, sometimes, they'll have a special interaction with you. Today, you're definitely doing your duty as Elite Four and not slacking. What? He's literally slacking off right now. He did, what, what do you mean? <laughs> that is entirely likely, but... It's beside the point. First things first, your attitude. You have to truly want to do the work in order to do it well. Chop, chop, on your feet, take these. Oh, come on. <laughs> so basically, since Kieran left the BB League, me and Drayton are running the, the show, basically. Like, we're co-champions or something like that. Oh, she wants to talk. Okay, so every once in a while, these characters will have special dialogue. She wants to take the club in a new direction. Safety first, nah. Enjoying ourselves together. That sounds pretty cool. But also having fun and working hard. That's pretty much the key to life right there. Yeah. With this, we'll be able to make a lovely place for everyone again. Thank you so much. Safety not guaranteed would have, would have been better. I think we've taken care of all the lingering tasks I had for the club. Hump. Plum tuckered out. I think I need to soothe these tired feelings away by sharing some cuteness. With you, Orange. What do you say? Will you trade Pokemon with me? Yes, Lacey. All of the BB Elite Four, after you've talked enough times to them and battled them too. I've battled each of them at least once. They'll actually trade Pokemon with you. And I've been doing some of these trades actually. If I go to my egg box, you'll see that I have this Magby. That is actually Crispin's Magby. And then I have a couple other ones. I think this one is Drayden's Duraludon. Yeah, Drayton. Drayton's Duraludon. I think they have special moves too. I don't know about this one, but the Magby has Focus Punch. And then I also got a Dud Unsparse from your boy Larry. <laughs> so you can do it with the gym leaders too. And you can give them literally any Pokemon, but I feel like if you give them a Pokemon of the type that they like, so like, let me test this out actually. If we give Lacey a Fairy type, I feel like she might have a special dialogue. Because when I gave Crispin Fuecoco, he said like, oh, this guy can be my sous chef. So let's try to give Lacey Morpeko. Oh wait, no, because Morpeko is a Violet exclusive. I don't want to give her something that's actually hard to have in my living decks. Let's give her a Cleffa. Cleffa's kind of cute. Yep, Cleffa for a snubble. And off we go! I don't know why they do this animation, like, transferring the Pokemon across space-time, when literally she's right next to us. Like, this girl is literally right there. We could just give her the Pokeball. But there we go. You got snubble. It looks so silly, like she's literally right there. We could have just handed her the Pokeball. 
But sure, we get her snubble now. So I think the only one I'm missing is Amaris. I don't know what Pokemon Amaris would give you though, but... This is a pretty cool little feature. We got Lacy Snubble, Fairy type, Terra type. With Ice Fang, Fire Fang, Bite, and Lick. It's pretty cute. The cool thing about these Pokemon is that all of them will say like when you send them out, it'll say Lacy's Snubble. Oh, I already had a Rowlet. I don't even know what this Rowlet is. Or why it's special. It has Overgrow. Maybe we can trade this to some- wait, where did I- is this from Pokemon Go or what? From the Alola region. Apparently this is my Rowlet though. I don't know wh where I got this Rowlet from, but we have it. Uh, yeah, let's check out the PC. I think one of you guys said to check out the futuristic room. I want to unlock the secret boss. Oh, okay, hold up. So, the surprise that I said I had waiting for you guys is... That we can call in the teachers from Naranja, and that means we can call in Nurse Miriam. <laughs> also, you can see that Larry is now golden. So once you've uh, done everything you can with a character, it turns gold. I've done one with Iono. I think I did one with Grusha too. Yeah, and I think I did one with Tulip. But then once you've, like, battled them twice, they'll offer the trade. But we gotta call in Nurse Miriam. How do you get more people? Yeah, so this is what I was trying to figure out all night yesterday. And what I figured is basically, after you invite a certain number of these, the first eight gym leaders, these guys will unlock. But you need to have completed their, like, teacher stuff back at the academy. So for example, this lady, she's the math teacher. You have to do all of the math teaching like classes back in the academy and also do all their social links. So like the dates that you go on with them. Well, they're not really dates, but you know, if you go to the Naranja or Uva school, they'll show up in certain spots like the cafeteria or the hall. And basically you just talk to them. So you need to have completed the full quest line for them and then they'll show up here. So because I've done everything with Nurse Miriam, we can invite her into Blueberry. Oh, we didn't get the special cutscene. Yeah, I fit. Man, something happened with my game. I swear I had, I guess I lost 200 BP, but whatever. Technically, this will be my first time inviting her then. I knew it. I figured you were the one who called me. I was super surprised when I got told this stuff about a work trip all of a sudden. Can you believe they're having me teach my first class here instead of back home? Oh, right. Because <clears throat> her side quest was like she's trying to become a teacher. But she's never actually been a teacher before. Easy for you to say. You're not the one teaching the class. Oh, what am I saying? You got me over here, so I'll do my best to make the most of this. It'll be the nurse's office, Blueberry Academy style. So yeah, first time you talk to them, not much happens, but then they want to battle. So, you gotta battle the nurse. But also something kind of cool that I just noticed. Uh, I swear TV said in the chat, you can actually invite two coaches at once. And certain ones will have interactions with each other. So let's invite Iono and see what happens. Oh, what the heck? They're not even interacting. Why? Hey, you know what I know? Dramatic pause, drum roll. I know that you kept your promise to not go collabing with other channels. How does she know? <laughs> You're a young, fresh-faced champion. Any channel you collab with would rake in the views, but you stayed a loyal Iono zoner. Dare I ask, are you gonna keep on collabing exclusively with me? Yeah, yeah, I definitely didn't do a video with True Green. Hot diggity dang! Oh man, I'm so jazzed. I'm on cloud 10. No, cloud 11. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking...
Okay, let's seal this exclusivity deal. Contract time has been canceled because I forgot to bring it. <laughs> so if we can't contract it up, let's con trade it up. I've already done the two battles with Iono off screen, but yeah, she's going to give us her Magnemite basically. Though I still wonder, like, wait, I didn't even pay attention if Lacey gave us a special dialogue. I feel like though if we give Iono like an electric Pokemon, she might have something special to say. Let me find an electric type somewhere in here. None of these. None of these. Bro, where are all the electric types at? What the frick? Do I have no electric Pokemon? Okay, I mean, I guess I got- I have Shinx. <laughs> it's not really that special though. Here, maybe I've caught an electric type from Blueberry. Uh, Elekid. Yeah, Elekid. Elekid's fine. There you go. Give her me ride on. <laughs> Technically, you could. You can literally give her whatever Pokemon you want. I don't recommend giving them anything special because you're literally going to lose that Pokemon forever. And also, the dialogue you get for... Like, it, it doesn't really change that much. I mean, let's see if it even changes at all. Usually they'll say something generic like, This Pokemon's gonna be fun to train. Oh. A Champion's Elekid? If I train it up, I'll rake in those sweet, sweet viewer num. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just buzzing with gratitude. Definitely didn't say whatever someone might think I was saying. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if that was like a special dialogue or not but if you give them like a generic pokemon they'll just be like oh this one's gonna be fun to train up what are these guys doing together perfect timing no 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 i'm not trying to battle bro pretty sure this guy just wants to battle too because after you've done everything with them they just want to battle yeah no all right let's battle nurse miriam though and i think maybe after we battle her she might have that special interaction with iono Why not rematch Gita to see if she's stronger this time? I don't have Gita yet. I wish I had Gita unlocked, but I'm pretty sure you have to do a whole bunch more uh, battle with other trainers first. The other thing about these battles is they're just single battles as opposed to like the Blueberry Elite Four. Uh, so they're not going to be quite as tough, but they're still a little bit challenging. Let's keep... Ivysaur in the party, just because I wanted to get some XP. I think we can probably beat them with this squad, or beat uh, her at least. I don't actually remember what Pokemon Nurse Miriam has, or what type she specializes in. I would guess maybe Fairy, but I feel like she's got a pretty varied team. Ho ho! You can battle her in the Academy Ace Tournament, right? This isn't our first time battling her, but... It's gonna be the hardest time we battle her, that's for sure. Leading off with Hypno... Oh my god, I swear. Chang, you've been missing Head Smash this whole playthrough. But at least you don't miss it this time, thank goodness. Alright. She got Glalie up next. Yeah, we'll stay in on that. Doesn't look like she specializes in any type, though. I mean, Hypno and now Glalie... ...don't have anything in common with each other. Electros! Well, that thing basically has no weakness, so we just gotta pray that Chang doesn't miss. <laughs> oh my god! Why did it just glitch into the floor like that? Oh, of course. And you've got liquidation! Holy moly! Isn't Head Smash just like 80% accuracy? Like, it feels... Like it's the opposite. It's got 20% accuracy instead. Ooh, Meganium. That's... That's interesting. 
I'm gonna switch out just because Chang has Choice Scarf, so we can only head smash right now. If it's not 100% accurate, it's 50%. That that really is how Pokemon feels sometimes. Even 95% accuracy moves, bro. They feel like they got like a 50-50. Yeah, I guess her Pokemon is just completely varied. It's kind of like a champion team. Ooh, nice Argent. Finally learning something. She got a Pincurchin. I don't have anyone with ground type attacks though, unfortunately. Oh wait, no, this dude has Earthquake. We're being chilling. Unless this doesn't kill it. Okay, never mind. I mean, after this, we should have both uh, Venusaur and Metagross, so we'll have more room to evolve some of our other Pokemon. Ugh! I'm gonna lose! I can't believe this! Oh no! I almost feel bad for her. Almost. I mean, I'm still trying to get that trade. And her ace is actually Toxapex. Okay. Maybe that's why people said she specializes in Poison-type in the chat, because... Her Terrastal is at least poison type. But I mean, you could say Jock. Like, Professor Jocks doesn't have a specific type, but I think he Terrastalizes Giraffarig. Or Ferrigiraffe, I mean. I don't think that makes him a psychic trainer exactly, but. Here's your treatment, but you're not gonna like it. Too much medicine is poisonous after all. Oh. I'm so scared! Down it goes. Oh yeah, the theme of her team. I remember I said this during like the first time I fought her. It's all like different types of therapy and like medicinal treatments. So like Hypno is Hypnotherapy. Meganium is like Aromatherapy. Toxapex is... I guess poison treatment. Then you got Pink Kirchen for acupuncture. Electro shock or Electros is shock therapy, I guess. <laughs> Which uh Yo, I forgot. We got Argent evolving. I don't know what Glalie is though. But look at this Metagross. So sick. It folds its four legs when flying. Its four brains are said to be superior to a supercomputer. So it really is four Beldums in one. Oh yeah, cryotherapy is a thing. Yeah, that's definitely it then. Uh, I guess I'll finally get rid of Tackle. Nice. Double evolution! Yo, we get to see the new Venusaur model too. Look at him! Oh my god, he's extra chonky! <laughs> Why does he low-key look like Peter Griffin? While it basks in the sun, it can convert the light into energy. As a result, it is more powerful in the summertime. It's so sick. Apparently, I don't actually have Charmander yet. So we gotta make sure to get one of those. Uh, but we learned Petal Blizzard. It's slightly less ugly. <laughs> Then Sword and Shield, yeah, I guess. It looks wider to me. Like, in general, it looks like they stretched him out. <laughs> he looks good, though. I like the new model. You kids are always going all out. I can't keep up. Especially you. You're way too strong. You gotta learn how to hold back a little once in a while. Well, since you beat me, I'll teach you this cool pose. Aye, aye, Cap'n. Nice. I think that pose is on its way out, but it's not quite in cringe territory yet. Yo, they definitely let the interns write the dialogue for these parts. Like, Crispin saying is lit over and over. Actually, I saw a really, really funny interaction between Iono and Grusha yesterday. I think I screenshot it, but I don't know where it went. 
Actually, I think I might have recorded it on my Switch. Let me check. I gotta show you guys this. I felt so called out. Here it is. So apparently, Grusha is like a fan of Iono. I just realized my camera went like super dark. I think I like your older content better, if I'm being honest. You took more risks, you know? I felt so called out when he said that, man. Like, come on. Nowadays, it feels like it's all about getting the most clicks. All the sponsorships and everything. Pretty uncool, if you ask me. Send that to your favorite Poketuber right now. <laughs> or just favorite YouTuber in general. That's, that's every YouTuber right there. Alright, camera should be looking better now. There we go. Anyway, uh, there's still a couple more things I wanted to check out in here. Not the coaches though. Oh, but wait, I do want to see if like, Iono and the nurse interact. So maybe if we like leave the room and come back? Hopefully that does something. That whole conversation definitely gave I miss the old Kanye vibes. I miss the old munch. Oh, what? What the heck, man? I wanted them to like actually talk to each other, but for some reason they don't want to. Eh. How'd you get that outfit? You have to battle this guy a couple times right here. And then... I mean, what I did at least was just forward the day. So like, I would battle him. I battled him and then I kept forwarding the day and every new day in the club room you talk to him, he'll have different dialogue. Basically, you just keep talking to them once a day until they're out of dialogue and they ask you to battle. Like right now, all of them are just asking to battle. So what I would do is forward it a day and then talk to them again. Eventually, they'll give you a reward. So like this guy will give you some special picks for your sandwiches. This guy gives you this. And I think Lacey actually gave me this. A blueberry phone case, which you can't actually see unless I use my phone. Uh, there's also an Iono phone case. I forgot to mention. Oh, but wait, you can actually... Uh, doesn't it change like the map and everything? Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. The little borders on the map. You get like a nice little blueberry theme. Same with the Pokedex, actually. I don't know what the Iono one is, though, but yeah, for fighting Iono, or inviting her and then fighting her, you get an Iono phone case. Eh, not a big fan of that one. <laughs> the little chibi Iono at the bottom is cute, though. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna switch it back to my Glitterati case, my favorite. Actually, you know, let, let's do the Blueberry case, since we're in Blueberry Academy. What's up, Moses? How you doing? Alright, I guess I'll just invite some other teacher then. Let's call in... Oh! Yo! We unlocked more! We got Rika and Poppy! Okay, so my predictions are coming true so far. It's literally the Elite Four, all the teachers... But what are the final four gonna be? Because... After Nurse Miriam, there's only four spots. I'm pretty sure we're still missing four teachers, too, so it's not Team Star, then. I mean, Gita's gotta be one of them. I'm still missing the fighting teacher, the home ec teacher, the art teacher. That's three. Nimona, Penny, and Arvin. Ooh, it could be them, actually, yeah. Who do you think would have a good interaction with the nurse, though? Ooh, I wonder if Jock would, actually. Let's invite Jock. First time he's coming in. Hello, hello! It's everybody's favorite biology teacher, Mr. Jock here. Yeah, Clavel would definitely have some kind of interaction with the nurse, I feel. Like, congratulations on your promotion or something generic like that. But like... Aw, oh, come on! Oh wait, no, it's Iono! Oh my god. Why is Iono still here, bro? I thought it was going to be Jock and the 
and the nurse. Whatever, bro. Did you get all of Atticus' outfits at the auction? No, I haven't. I didn't even know that was a thing. But that is something I unlocked that I wanted to check out. Maybe we can do that real quick. Oh, I forgot. I can't call the taxi. <sighs> Alright, fine. Let's get out of here. It's fine. This is why we grinded the blueberry points, right? So we can, like, just unlock everything, I guess. But yeah, I also made sure to advance all of the main characters' dialogues. Have you been to the secret room in Area Zero? No, not yet. I don't actually know how to unlock it. But then I also haven't really checked. I know there's got to be some Pokemon you have to battle to unlock it, right? Alright, let me in, let me in. So... Actually, they're over there, but if you check this board... Sometimes characters will pop up here. I managed to do every single one that I had unlocked. But if you want to get the other teachers, basically you have to do the classes first. So you gotta get through all of these. Oh, there's the languages teacher too. So yeah, there's only four spots left, which I guess is Gita and probably the three rivals. I feel like that, that has to be it. I'm not gonna do that right now though. What we are gonna do is the Team Star stuff. So as you can see, Giacomo and Eri are apparently here in the entrance hall. But you're not gonna believe what they look like. That's them! <laughs> I mean, Giacomo's pretty obvious because of his hair. But that's Eri? She doesn't even have white hair? I mean, she doesn't look as, uh, basic as I thought she would, but I, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty basic, but... Yo, Orange! Not every day we get to see him around the academy, huh? I cannot believe Team Star has been reduced to this. We're not in the same grade as Orange either, so it's lucky we bumped into him. You doing alright, pal? Not sure what to make of that dumbfounded look you got going on. <clears throat> I mean, somehow I'm more dripped out than you guys. I don't even recognize him, apparently. <laughs> That's right, I forgot we're not wearing our usual outfits. Man, now that you mention it, I guess this is the first time he's seen us looking all proper. Yeesh, now I feel a bit awkward. I cannot with Giacomo in shorts. DJ Vice! And in case you couldn't tell, it's Aerie! We came in today to take some makeup tests. Figured it was about time we started clawing back and learning. Wait, what do you mean by makeup tests? Shouldn't Aerie be an expert at that kind of thing? Hey Aerie, you think Orange could help us out with our ongoing sitch? That's right! Great idea, Giacomo! What are they talking about? This is a pretty cool theme, though. We've got a little proposal. How'd you like to be a tutor? One step at a time. Maybe we should start by explaining what's going on. Whoops, right you are. So, okay, basically the other Team Star bosses are having a rough time of it. Remember Melly, Ordi, and Atticus? Oh god, they must be destroyed, dude. They've been taking makeup tests like us, but they sure ain't passing them. They might actually have to repeat the year, which would suck after all the effort they put in. Before you ask, me and Ari have already tried touring them ourselves. But it didn't go well at all. Nope. I seriously didn't think those three would have such a hard time. I mean, for me, it feels like all you need to do is pass tests is learn formulas and memorize stuff. Guess I just can't wrap my head around what it is they can't do. I imagine Mela especially, she doesn't seem like she'd be the best at, like, school stuff. I'm only good at teaching people if it's to do with sports or exercise. We heard from Penny that your grades are pretty decent. 
I bet even Ortega and the others would perk their ears up if you dropped by. Which loops us right back to my opening refrain. Think you can help us, Tudor? Alright, let's do it. If we get to hear this music more, I'm down. Thanks, Orange, you really are the best. Whoops, almost forgot. We gotta keep this under wraps, okay? No telling Penny. We stressed her out enough for one lifetime. There's no way we can bother her with this. This'll be our little secret, okay? We'll be right here, so come let us know when you're ready. Hold up, am I actually gonna have to, like, teach them something? Or is it just gonna be just dialogue? I mean, I guess we'll find out. Music to my ears. Let's go lay down a killer study sesh. Oh, it's him! <laughs> Wait, that's Atticus too, I just realized. Bruh, Ortega. <laughs> no more drip for him. Here to check we're not slacking off, are you? Pretty much. Your eyes start glazing over the second I'm out the door. Tell me I'm wrong. Ah, Lady Airy clad in her academy uniform. I feel my eyes sharpen and my mind focus each time this vision returns to me. <laughs> okay, I guess Atticus likes Airy. Oh my... <laughs> what is this anime uh, sound effect? My ninja senses detect the presence of another behind thee. Come, step forth, knave, that we might see thy face. It's your tutor! Me! Damn, we looking kind of swaggy with this outfit, not gonna lie. What the? No! Why is this happening? <laughs> I should have surmised as much. The strength of thy spirit precedes thee as ever, good fella. I love the way Atticus talks. Jacomo, explain, what is Orange doing here? Hey, now, be nice. Wait, no, Professor Orange is gonna be your tutor. Oh, glad tidings. I am truly grateful to hear. He's gonna be what? You can't just go stomping around deciding stuff like this without asking. And you, we don't need a tutor. Do us a favor and toddle on home, will ya? Hey, Ordy. Orange kindly agreed to come here and help us out. So talking to him with that kind of attitude. What is she about to do? Oh my god! Did she just slap him? Uh, yeah, no, totally. S sorry, Ari. Sorry, who? Uh, what I meant to say was, sorry, Orange. That's right. Respect my authority. Don't worry about Ortega. He just doesn't want to see him floundering. Hey guys, we seem to have lost Melly. Where'd she go? Lady Mella declared her wish to stretch her legs minutes before your arrival. She departed rather suddenly and has not returned since. Well, we all know Mella. She just wandered off because she doesn't feel like studying. I hate to say it, but I guess that's probably true. Sorry about this, Orange. You think you could go find Mella for us? She'll be somewhere in the academy for sure. We'll stay on standby and get everything prepped for our killer study sesh. <laughs> Sorry to keep relying on you like this. I hope you find Millie without much trouble. This is actually pretty cool. I like, I love Team Star. And yeah, it is kind of sad seeing them... I guess, normified. <laughs> he still hates us, I love it. But yeah, just their personalities are still there. That's what matters, right? Of course, Mel is outside. Let's go see what she looks like. Why is Aerie's voice like that? Why? I mean, she's like the sporty type. I know it sounds stupid. I gave her a dumb voice on purpose, but like, I don't know if I sounded more, I can't do a more girly voice basically. I'm pretty sure I see someone with red hair over here. Oh my gosh. It's her. She ain't got no boots anymore! Oh, hey Orange. 
Bruh, she is definitely the least recognizable. Like, Aerie was a pretty drastic change. But th this doesn't even look like Mela at all. Have we met? Seriously? You have eyes, don't you? Obviously, it's Mela you're talking to. Okay, now I can tell it's her from the personality. I guess I'm not decked out in my usual gear today. Aerie made a big fuss about wearing your uniforms for this study group thing. So yeah, it's not like I had much of a choice. But, what are you doing here anyway? I'm looking for you, duh! Wow, what's the occasion? You itching for another showdown or something? Oh, okay, you came t to bring me back to the classroom, huh? Guess time got away from me while I was admiring the veggies. Might as well get going then. Wait, does she want to be like a farmer? Oh, she still walks like she has her boots though. <laughs> I wonder if that's a side effect of it being the same character so Game Freak forgot to change the animation. Or, no, th there's no way. That has to be just because she's so used to walking with them. <laughs> Sup, amigos? Melly, welcome back. And Orange, thanks so much for hiding her. So, what are you two lazing around this time? Uh, you know, here and there. Lady Mella, is something amiss? Nah, we're all good, right? The Dream Study Team's all here. Except the big bossum team star, where's Penny at? Isn't she like a super genius? Why isn't she doing the tutoring? Oh, wait, what do we do now? Does he want us to like actually teach? I don't know what's happening. Leave the music to me. I'll keep a steady stream of lo-fi chill beats playing. <laughs> I hope everyone tries their best. Okay, maybe we have to go to like individually. Yeah. Let's see how Ortega's doing. Don't think I didn't see you in your smug face hovering there. You got some nerve. You realize I'm a second year, right? I'm an entire year above you. Sure, buddy. But you're an entire inch below me. I mean, how am I supposed to know how some made-up characters in a story are feeling? <laughs> He's doing literature. Mama Mousehold? We're supposed to analyze why she calls Papa Mousehold terrible. Okay, Mama Mousehold's eyes glittered with tears. It was clear from the letter that Papa left she would never get to see him again. Toying with my feelings right to the end, you really are a terrible thing. She must truly think he's terrible. I mean... It has to be this. So she calls him terrible but she actually loves him? Why doesn't she just say it then? That's literature in a nutshell. But also English in a nutshell, bro. Like... English words are so tricky sometimes. I forgot, but there's a word... Oh, set. The word set can have like 10 different meanings. Like set the table. Or all set and done. Or... A set of, of something. Like a set of pencils or... Yeah. There's... It's crazy. Okay. I guess people are tempted to say the opposite of what they mean sometimes. This question makes more sense to me now, but just a tiny bit. Thanks for not being entirely useless. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing a BP quest after this, but I'm actually now invested in the Team Star story. <laughs> I wonder what Atticus would be struggling with. Clearly not literature. He seems like he actually knows about that kind of thing. Mathematics, of course. In particular, arithmetic. Tis an unsolvable mystery. But since my true calling lies in garment design, I feel I need not concern myself with numbers. They have not to do with fashion after all. Bruh, how do you freaking measure stuff then? You need centimeters. Or inches, or whatever the heck they use in Paldea. Hold on a sec. Thou means to say my desired course of action would be one step too far? Course the arithmetic, my foul nemesis. <laughs> Atticus, you're making this into a bigger issue than it needs to be. We all have things we're bad at, and life will always throw challenges our way. But that doesn't mean we should just quit. 
For me, there's nothing more inspiring than someone who tackles their problems head on and finds a way through. Lady Airy! That's right, if you want to inspire or in, impress Airy, <laughs> you gotta learn math, bro! Sorry, I kinda butted in just now. I'm glad it all worked out, though. Thanks to you, Atticus seems really inspired to study. He's the type that totally gets absorbed once he's fired up, so I'm sure he'll be just fine. Which leaves us with just one more Star Grunt to teach. Let me guess, she's not good at biology? I was just doing some practice questions. Here, let me know if this is true or false. You can get new Pokemon only by catching them yourself or- wait. She's not good at Pokemon studies? That's like the one thing that Team Star should be good at. Only by catching them yourself or trading with others. Uh, I guess there's technically Mystery Gift. Right? That's at least one other way to get Pokemon. Oh, and eggs. Yeah, that's probably more obvious. <laughs> okay, next one. What is the name of the gemstone that glows over a Pokemon's head when it terrestrializes? The Terra Jewel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that sounds about right. Guess it makes sense you know about all this, seeing you have a Terra Orb. Either way, terrestrializing is pretty awesome, don't you think? Only outstanding students get to have a Terra Orb all for themselves, though. Don't they have one? Or were they just borrowing it because they were Team Star? This has zilch to do with Test, but I want to ask you something. I don't know how to put it, though. You gotta promise not to laugh, okay? How important do you think dreams are? <laughs> what is this option? Hey, I told you not to laugh. Hope it was worth it, because that's the last time I ever ask you about anything. I've heard enough. Let me get back to studying already, would ya? I didn't bust my butt coming back to school just to get kicked out. Kind of feel bad for answering like that, but... It doesn't seem like it actually affected anything. I hope. Great effort all around, everyone. Feel like you made progress today? Totally! I spit through my plastic cloud. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> he just called us the worst tutor. Thanks to our esteemed tutor, I feel enlivened as a Reva room. I don't know. I managed to cram the makeup test, but that's about it. Looks like we have some mixed results, but we should be okay at least. It really was kind of you to help us out. We prepared a little thank you gift from all of you, so here you go. Wise glasses, really? Oh! Okay, this is much better. We get the Team Star uniforms? Not like their uniforms though, right? Like the generic Team Star grunts, I'm guessing. And we get the Asta La V-Star, finally! Whoa! Guys, what are you all doing here? Penny! Yeesh. Busted. Uh, I was just walking down the hall and saw you all in here. But that's fine. No one asked me to join, so I should just leave, shouldn't I? I don't know why they didn't ask her. Sorry about that. See you later. Lady Penny! Wait! It's not what you think, Penny! Hear us out! So what happened? <laughs> so what ha happened... Is they thought I was a better tutor, I guess? I thought y'all decided not to talk to me anymore. We would never! That's what it must have looked like though, huh? Sorry we made you worry. We just didn't want to drag you into another one of my me our messes. Our bad, Penny. Well, apology not accepted. Wait, for real? Why do you guys get to decide I'd be weighing down your problems? I'm your friend, right? So, you should come bother me more. Lean on me. That's what actually makes me happy. Oh, Lady Penny. And if things get really bad, I can just hack into the school system and fix your grades anyway. Wow. That's a terrible idea. I mean, is it? Sorry, that was a joke. I was just trying to lighten things up in here, but I guess that was pretty out of character. 
Glad to hear it. If you were serious, I would have had to pummel some sense into you. But about before, I'm actually a pretty good tutor, you know? That's what I was saying. Penny's like super smart. And she's their leader. I feel like they should have just asked her from the start. Careful, my man. That was dangerously close to a straight up compliment. You can just come right out and say it if you like. Indeed. I need not even use my ninja senses. What? As if you know what's in my head. You guys haven't got the first clue about me. Try getting me to know better before spouting nonsense. <laughs> hey guys, I think we broke Ortega. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And I think that about wraps it up. Unless... Maybe we have some new stuff unlocked? Oh, I think that's it. Alright. Team Star done. That was pretty cool. I mean, it's still sad seeing them not wearing their, like, old outfits. But it fits in with the story, obviously. And once they're... Excuse me. Uh, once they finish their school stuff, I mean, they're free to wear their outfits if they want again. But this is what we get. Short shorts. <laughs> uh, okay, this is, I guess, the guy one. I mean, it actually does look pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the socks. <laughs> Low-key, though, like... Should we just run around wearing this? Nah, bro, I can't, I can't bring myself to do that. Uh, we can take off the socks. Yeah, that looks a little bit better without the socks. Crew socks, high socks... I just want, like, some nice ankle socks, you know? But I guess I don't have any of those, so... We'll just do no socks. Uh, we also get the Team Star heels? What? <laughs> I mean, that's cool that they added more options. Ooh, this looks sick, actually. Well, it doesn't quite match, though. So I'm gonna stick with my Vans. And then we got, uh, Team Star gloves. I don't really like wearing gloves, though. There's no Team Star backpack. There's a Team Star helmet? That looks so stupid. And then Team Star sunglasses. Hey, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's nice. We got a Team Star case too. I'll put on the sunglasses for sure. <laughs> we look pretty sick. Let's go. It's the fit, bro. This is the new fit. I mean, I actually like wearing orange in the game, because, like, you know, my name. Or at least my username. But this, like, slightly alternate costume or uniform, I like it more, because that's kind of how I was back in high school. Like, there were rules that you had to have your shirt tucked in. Also, you were supposed to wear, like, dress shoes or, like, school shoes. But I would, I would be the one kid that would always just wear sneakers. And somehow I never got in trouble either. I'm not really sure why. Actually, you could wear sneakers as long as they were all black. But I would have like black with the with the white sole. And then sometimes I would just straight up come in like blue. Um, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, I need shoes. I'm trying to get the other like the black bands. I don't remember which one is the shoe shop. I know it's around here, though, in this square. Is it this? No. Okay, I'm just gonna look on the map. When I was in NJ, we were required to wear navy blue button-down and khaki pants. Yeah, my uniform was... Um... It was, a, like, a wine-colored shirt. Like, button-up shirt, like a polo shirt. And then we had black pants. So, actually, it wasn't that bad. But I hated that you had to have the shirt tucked in. So I would always have the shirt untucked. And sometimes the teachers, there was like one teacher that was specifically strict. But almost none of the other teachers really cared. Oh wait, this is a shoe store. How did I miss that? New hairstyles in the salon? Oh dude, they suck. Don't even bother checking. But yo, we got some new shoes here. Also slip-ons. I don't think I ever saw this before. Oh. 
Huh, those aren't that bad. <laughs> they kind of look like crocodile shoes or something. These are from the teal mask, though. Man, there's a lot of them. What? Let's see the new indigo disc shoes, though. We got running shoes. Uh, I mean, they look like your standard, like, yeah, running shoes, which I know a lot of people like wearing those, but I'm not a huge fan. I definitely like... No, not this either. Where the heck are the low tops? Low top sneakers. Here we go. This is my jam right here. Let's get it. Are there orange ones? Actually, there are. Nobody wears that. I mean, they look like your usual, like, Nike type of shoes, though. Some people do wear those. I mean, a lot of people wear those, actually. The slip-ons, I'm not so sure about. Actually, no, I, I, I could see someone wearing these. They look kind of like bougie in a way. Like, they, these look like they'd be expensive for no reason. Anyway, I just wanted the Vans. We got the full fit now. Team Star, let's go. <clears throat> I do wonder, though, how we can unlock Nimona and Arvin's quest or, like, final cutscene or whatever. Also, there's a Pokemon I apparently have not caught in Kitakami. What new hats in the shop? I didn't actually see any new hats. I think there was one actually. It was like a... <clears throat> the fuzzy bucket hat. But I was not a big fan of it. Oh, Nurse Joy, I miss you! Give me some room to breathe, will ya? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I just realized she's wearing the slip-ons. The pink slip... Oh no, she's wearing Crocs. And she has that, like, little ankle bracelet thing. This is the best Nurse Joy ever. I can see why they replaced her, though. The students were getting a little too hot and bothered. But yeah, apparently, there's there. I've seen a screenshot that people hang out with Nimona and Arvin here in Kitakami. I don't know how you unlock that, though. Maybe you have to, like... Get them in the Blueberry Academy first. Which means we just have to keep uh, fighting other teachers or something. Let me see what this is though before we head back to Blueberry. Blueberry Academy got some vibes though for sure. I think I like the Indigo Disc, like the Terrarium overall more. But I definitely like the story of Kitakami more. Oh, Poltergeist! Wait, did I get... Did I get the special outbreak of them? Because... It shows as a question mark on my map. Are these actually... The authentic? I know there's two types of them. This has to be authentic then. I actually got the authentic outbreak. Isn't that like super rare? Yo, that's crazy. Damn, I might have to shiny hunt this. Not right now, but maybe after the stream or something. Oh my god. All right, let me just catch one of them at least. Uh, this thing is ghost type though, so... Oh, my bad, hold on. Got double audio. I'ma just keep throwing balls, bro. Come on, stay in there. Oh, nice, we got the crit catch. Let me just make sure that this is the authentic version. Yeah, it- Artisan! Wait, is it called Artisan? I guess it's not authentic anymore. But we got the Artisan form. We'll call it Yusuke. Because he's my favorite artist. From Persona. And... Yeah, never mind, hold on. We 
got the new form. We also get Marsh Tomp back in here so we can evolve him. And Dango. Gotta evolve all the starters. Uh, should probably also get this guy back in. But yeah, if we send this thing out and have it hold still for us, we should be able to see a marking. <gasps> it does have the marking, dude! Wow, we got so lucky. That's crazy. I know you can just like keep resetting the day until you get the proper one, but like to get an outbreak of them is crazy. I would have no idea what the shiny looks like though. Yeah, maybe we can do that at the end of the stream. I'm definitely going to go back and focus on completing the decks now. So once again, if you guys would like to join in, help me out with some blueberry quests. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty sure we have enough points for everything. So I really, I just need to fill up the decks. But still, might as well play with uh, people online, right? So get in here, everybody. And by everybody, I mean three people. <laughs> I wonder if, like, next generation Pokemon might try to do, like, MMO style. I feel like it has to be on the Switch 2 at that point, though. Because the Switch right now, I mean, Nintendo has gotten slightly better. Oh, I'm not online. Whoops. I didn't even notice I wasn't online. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Attempt 2. But yeah, I feel like if the Switch 2 has like better online, like more stable, low-key Pokemon might attempt to do some kind of open world where you can have more than just three friends join. They sort of tried it with the wild area in Sword and Shield. Like you could do picnics. Or not picnics, but the camping. That was sort of like, not open world exactly, but you could, you could see random online players and friends in your world, so... I feel like they might try something like that in the future. Alright, nice. We got the squad. Donis, Steven, and Logan. Welcome, everybody. They need some, like, war zone. What, we, what, we need Pokemon Battle Royale? How would that even work? Last person to get a shiny, or I guess first person, I don't know. Here we are though. Ooh, those are some sick glasses. What? Where'd you get that? Have they already announced the Switch 2? No. There's been a lot of rumors about it though. Those are cool though. I like that. <laughs> we both got our own sunglasses. Yo! Wait, is that a shiny? Key? What the frig? That thing is fused too. That is insane. Too bad we can't get that in the official game. I mean, not in this game at least. You have to like, trade it from a previous generation, I think. Uh, to evolve Poltergeist, you need like a special item too, right? I don't think I have it right now. So let me just put this away. Let's put it, put it here. Oh wait, this goes in Teal Mask. Yeah, there you go. Alright, who else do we need to evolve? We have a lot of starter Pokemon to evolve, actually. Uh, let's get Trico on the squad. Actually, someone was asking for Chikorita. Do Chikorita. You know what? We'll do Chikorita and Trico. I'm replacing Rowlet. I don't care about Rowlet anymore. Got a new toy now. And then we still have a lot of starters to catch. And this thing still wants me to make a- No, I'm not doing a sandwich. Okay, Battle Wild Terra Pokemon, way easier. I'm so glad you're able to just swap those requests, or like, quest. So much easier. Oh, another Poplio! Dude, I feel like we're, like, Poplio has just been everywhere in this episode.
What are my other quests again? Successfully sneak up on a Pokemon, Terrestrialize, and make a TM. Oh, now we get Execute. I was looking for you earlier, you stupid egg. Okay, let me go back and make a TM. Oh my god, the slowdown though. Ooh, the connection with this group is not the greatest, it seems. Maybe because there's a picnic right there, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I figure that the online has to do with, like, everyone's internet working with each other. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works, but... Um... Oh yeah, I can fly! Dude, why do I keep forgetting that I can fly? I believe I can fly. I'm gonna make a confuse ray. And then let me see. How many Pokemon do we still need? Okay, we need less than 50. 48 Pokemon. Let's do this. A lot of those can also be like trades. So, if anyone that's currently in the group wants to trade for like Magmortar, for example, let me know. Magmortar, Electivire, Rhyperior. Uh, Kingdra is another one I haven't done yet. I know I don't have a Raquinid either. I'm gonna try to go get all the starters though. So, we're still missing Charmander. Where the frick is Squirtle? I haven't even like seen a Squirtle in the wild. I think I did see Charmander at one point though. It was in like the swamp area. Have we been here before? I don't even remember this place. Yeah, I have Snivy. I don't have Tepig yet either. We don't have Torchic. Uh, even though... Someone said Torchic is in like Charge Stone Cave. It's probably in a couple areas, but... That's another Dewpiter. We have to fight a Terra Pokemon, right? Got one right here. Oh no, that's a Crystal. We got one right over there. Who's it going to be? Oh, a Rockwinade! I literally just said, we need you. Okay. So let's just, uh, we'll just Terrestrialize Chang, I guess. Even though a Rockwinade is, uh... Water type. Yeah, Torchic is in the cave, so we gotta go to the cave at some point. If they make another Legends, what region would you like? Like a Kalos region? Um, I mean, if they're gonna... I don't think that they're gonna repeat the same thing, but if they do, then most likely we would get Legends Unova alongside the Black and White remakes. But yeah, I would like to see Kalos the most, probably. Oh my god, of course we miss! Okay, at least the Rockwinid is, like, caught off guard. Come on, just just one- Hey, we did it. <clears throat> but yeah, Kalos or Unova, either one of those two would be sick. Because there's just so much lore to those regions that they could work with. Kalos, of course, has, like, the great Pokemon war. But then Unova... There's the whole, like, story with the two legendaries. The original dragon, I think it was called. So there's a lot that they could do with that. But nice, two birds with one stone. Or I guess even three, maybe four? Because we didn't have a rock with it in the Pokedex. We did two of our blueberry quests. And we also... Get Marsh Tomp to evolve! Yes! The king has returned! We got Swampert! Its arms are hard as rock. I actually never knew that. Imagine getting slapped by a Swampert. 
You know how there's that like slap boxing sport? Swamper would probably be the the reigning world champ in that. All right, let's swap you out with uh, Poplio. Sure. Bro, I already have two boxes full of BB Pokemon. Oh, Robustus, what are you doing here, bro? You go in the shiny box. Alright, what else we need? Yeah, I mean, I did com contemplate giving Arcanine Wide Lens. What is this shadow? What Pokemon was that? Oh, it's Talonflame right there. But Arcanine's kind of slow, so I gave it the Choice Scarf instead, at least for some of the, uh... The harder battles, like the Elite Four. Oh, yo, we already have a group quest. Nice. Make a TM, Terrastalize, to beat a wild Pokemon, catch a grass type. I mean, there's a grass type right here. Even though I already have a Bulbasaur, let's just catch another. Ooh, I'm down for cheesy chicken tonight. That sounds bomb. I think that's unlikely. Wait, what was I just talking about? What's unlikely? <laughs> that we're getting cheesy chicken? Oh no! Okay, I guess I'll repeat ball you then, Bulbasaur. You don't want to be caught. There we go. <clears throat> What's up, KZ? How's your trip in Japan? Really good. Really fun. We've done so much. Like, it's... Thinking back to how much we've done, it's crazy. Like, when I say the vlogs we've put up on the second channel so far is only, like, a quarter of all the things we've done, it's crazy. We've basically been pretty much across the whole country. We still have, like, one more area that we need to go to. But then after that, I can say we've pretty much been to the northernmost spot and then the southernmost spot. And then obviously we've done so much things in between. But the highlights for me have probably been the food. I came to Japan expecting that I'd be eating a lot of sushi because that's like my favorite Japanese food. But instead, I've, I've fallen in love with not just the ramen. I already liked ramen, but... I'm blanking out. Wait, what is the thing that I that I said? Oh, curry. Cur the curry, dude. Oh my god. Curry has become my new favorite Japanese food. I have eaten a lot of ramen though, too. Like, ramen... I already liked ramen before, and I'm not talking like cup noodle. <laughs> but like, yeah, there's just so many different types of ramen. But the curry, though, is the greatest. I don't think there's any more... Let me go to the canyon biome, actually, because that's where the ditto blocks are located. I'm like low-key looking for Grookey because I think this is where we were earlier when I spotted him. But this man is just not appearing anymore. The Grookey gang has lost. I'm pretty sure this is the area we saw him before, right? Come on, Grookey. I know you gotta be around here, homie. Oh my gosh. Trombeak! What are you doing? We got the female meow stick though. Even though I caught an Esper that I was gonna evolve, but I mean, it's right there. Let's just get this one. The second channel is called Slice of Us. Like and subscribe for meow stick. Yeah, I saw there's a Poplio outbreak too. We have a couple of insane outbreaks. Poplio and then the Poltergeist authentic or artisan form. Oh, I should have nicknamed 
Laliette. Oh well. Come on, give me Grookey, please. I low-key should have just made that shiny grass sandwich or whatever. But then I would be tempted to go shiny hunt for the Poltergeist, so I'm not gonna do that. I know Grookey's around here, man. Like, he's gotta be. Oh dang, you guys already found two of the Ditto blocks. Meanwhile, I'm still running around looking for this stupid monkey. I feel like there's probably a better spot for Grookey too, but... I just- I saw him here earlier. So this is the only place I know that he's guaranteed to be in. Ah, oh, the Grimer! Oh! The Chikorita! Why? We got two Chikoritas? No, Grookey! Please. Grookey's easy if you know where to look. Okay, where do I look? Help me out! I'm struggling, man! Do you not see me struggling? Please! Yeah, I know that there's there's probably somewhere that's easier. Every starter so far has had somewhere like where it's super common. But this is the only place that I've ever seen it at all. Beach next to the savannah? Oh. Alright, let's go look there then. Oh wait, it's literally right there! I mean, I know that doesn't mean that it's here. But also it kind of does mean that it's around. <gasps> I knew you were here! You son of a gun! Come here! Oh my god, he turned around. Yes! This time I gotta make sure it doesn't die to wood hammer. Nice. First try. Definitely didn't spend the last three hours looking for it. We got him. And you shall be... None other than Mojo. Alright, that's another one for the decks. Now I'm gonna go back to the canyon biome because that's where our quest is. And also, I feel like maybe this might be where Charmander is. I remember seeing Charmander though in like the mud area. Oh, did we finish the quest? Oh no, we still have two more dittos. Then I gotta take a photo of a Pokemon in flight and sneak up on something. Okay, that should be easy. What's up, Christopher? Welcome, dude. Oh, I don't have Electabuzz yet. Oh my god. I wanted to try sneaking up, but that didn't work out. It's fine. No! What's up, Purple Leafy? How you been? Alright. I'm gonna try with the other Electabuzz that's back here. Maybe we can sneak up on him. Unless it despawned. Oh no, there it is. <gasps> also, Turtwig? Yo! Okay. Was not expecting that. But it's a... Welcome surprise! Unless it runs away. Where did, where did it go? Yo, where did that Turtwig just go? Oh, no, it's running away! Come back here, Turtwig! I don't care about Electabuzz all of a sudden. I need this thing. And bam! You thought you could get away from me. Well, you thought wrong, little buddy. Bonsai's back, baby! 
Dude, at this point, I've pretty much used every starter Pokemon among all my playthroughs. Like, I didn't even remember my Turtwig was Bonsai. But that's why I got you guys. Y'all know better than me. Okay, so... Yeah, we got pretty lucky with that, uh... Was it Chikorita? That we found female? Or I think, was it... Venusaur? I don't know. We found one of the starters female, and I didn't realize, like... How rare that would be. Did the Electabuzz disappear? Of course they did. Whatever. I did actually need Electabuzz, though, because... That's one of the trade evolutions. I'm also going to try to look around for some of the Ditto blocks. Oh, there's another Electabuzz. Don't look at me. There's, I'm not here. I do not exist. Yeah, just keep casually strolling by, sir. Beautiful. Love that. Don't think I have Sobble yet, actually. Yeah, that's another one. <clears throat> I know for sure Sobble is in the swamp though. Ooh, critical catch. Let's go. What's up, Double Trouble? How you doing? Welcome back. If I could nickname Electabuzz that, if I could put that into words somehow, <laughs> that would be Electabuzz's nickname. Uh, no, we don't have Litten yet either. Yo, Ditto Block! <laughs> How do we just so happen to find that? Let's go! Just need one more. Is this it? I thought that was another- I thought this was- Dude, apparently you can get shiny Ditto Blocks. Which I find crazy. Cause like, they shiny locked the legendaries, but then they didn't shiny lock Ditto Blocks. Uh, you can't even catch Ditto Blocks, bro. Got another church wig. All right, what other quest do I have right now? Uh, we need one more ditto block. Terrastalize and defeat a wild one. Take a photo of a Pokemon in the savanna. Okay, well I was actually about to head back to the savanna anyway because I think that's where the swamp area is. Wait, was that a Lin? Lin is here. What? I mean, it is a mountain tiger. I guess it makes sense, but I have not seen a single Litten. Come on, LT Gray. I'm calling out to you, buddy. Well, actually, I don't have Golet yet either. I need to buy more Pokeballs, though. I'm running out at this point. Wait, someone found Meloetta? Nah, I don't buy it. If you see anyone saying they found Meloetta, they probably already had it from Pokemon Home or something. Nice! I haven't even gotten the Ditto quest yet. Well, you have to be playing online, but I feel like they're not that rare. Like, if you are online, I've gotten a lot of them, actually. Alright, let me organize my boxes real quick because I feel like things are starting to pour over. Yep. Into the Legends box. Which, honestly... Yeah, I'm just gonna swap the Legends box with, like, this. Um... Wait, how do I rearrange? There we go. Take you. Where's Legends? What the frick? There we go. Okay. Now we got plenty of- we should have plenty of space to put all of our blueberry babies. Put you guys in the starter box. That's not actually only starters, there's a lot of other Pokemon in here, apparently. And 
And, uh, there we go. Okay. Let's go back and see if we can find that Litten. Meloetta would be an event later on. I think Meloetta can actually be caught already. Uh, I have a feeling it's just no one has figured out exactly how. Which is cool that we have something like that in Pokemon. Like, it's been a long time with the age of the internet. I mean, you'd think that someone would have figured it out already with data mining being a thing. So, it maybe you're right and it is an event. And that's why no one's figured it out yet. But it just feels like maybe it's something really specific that you have to do in order to trigger it. Oh, it'd be kind of cool. Like, yeah, we haven't had something like that. Basically, since the internet existed in gaming in general, it feels like things get figured out so quickly because you have like millions of people all trying to figure it out together. Well, oh, I don't have Chin Chow yet. But yeah, the hints for Meloetta so far, there's something about like there's a breeze somewhere in the grass, in the grass area. And there's something about spinning, someone said. But also Meloetta is a music themed Pokemon. So I feel like it might have something to do with uh, playing a song for it with the like camera feature. Alright, got Chin Chow. No Litten though. Unless it's on this island. No, okay. What's at the top of this place? Whoa! Dude, this area is crazy, what? We got a Litten up on the cliffs. No. Got a Scrappy. A Dawnstone too. Really? There's nothing up here? Wow. I for sure thought there would be something crazy up here. Like at least a TM. Just a Magnemite. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's check over here then. Wait, this is where we just came from, isn't it? Well, not this rock, but like down there where those blocks are. Um... This definitely looks like where Litten would be. But it's not actually appearing. What's up, Mimikyu fan? How you doing? Oh! I didn't even see that dude. <laughs> Just ran right into him. Oh yeah, I forgot to rename my uh, Gallade. I keep forgetting to do that actually. I also wanted to pump it with candies. Just so it's like, easier to false swipe things. Let me see. I'm gonna replace RuPaul too with like... Maybe Oshawa. I don't think I have the evolutions yet. Also wanted to see like how EV trained this thing is. Oh, it actually is EV trained. Wow. It just has a horrible nature. So I got to give it like an adamant mint real quick. Let's pump you with some candies. I don't know why I'm doing small. There we go. That's all you need, bro. Just one level for no reason. Uh, Adamant Mint. Nice. Alright, now he should be a little stronger. 
to help us false swipe things that don't want to get caught. I'm surprised no one has found that last ditto block. <laughs> I think people probably forgot they're not even looking for it anymore. Whoa, what is that? Oh, whoa, it's a special Skarmory. That's sick. The way it was glowing. Come on, man. This I like. I can smell the lit in nearby. I know it's here. Smells of what? Hello? What just happened? This isn't even an outbreak. There's just randomly a bunch of Turtwig. It's like a little family. That's pretty cute. Like two of them are big and two of them are. So There's five of them. Surprise! <laughs> Why are there so many Turtwigs? That's the first time I think we've seen like a group of starters like that. Which was in one of the screenshots like in the pre-release. I remember seeing a lot like of groups of starters. Oh yo Tyro, I don't have him yet. Oh this one's sleeping. See this is where I wish that you could just throw Pokeballs without having to fight. What? That wasn't caught unaware? How? Is it because it literally just woke up right at that moment? What's up, Saber Cat? But yeah, uh, Pokemon even back in the base game, you could see them like spawn in little groups. But I feel like in the DLC, it's not as common. Or maybe it is. I guess I just don't notice it anymore because it's like normal. But to see a group of starter Pokemon like that, it's definitely more noticeable. <gasps> Squirtle! Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle! I didn't quite get the backstrike, but tis fine. Our final quick ball! Go! No! <laughs> oh, we almost had it. Man, how did you miss a Hydro Pump when it's raining? Doesn't Hydro Pump get boosted accuracy in the rain? Or is that only for Blizzard? And Solar Beam. Well, Solar Beam just, you don't have to charge it up. Oh my god, it has a recoil move, you son of a gun! Uh, let's do Great Ball. Oh, another Squirtle just spawned. So even if we don't get this one, it's swimming too! Oh my gosh, the Shell Smash? Has Squirtle always had that? I mean, probably since Shell Smash was a thing. It makes sense, because it's a turtle, but still. Shell Smash is, is an insane move. Come on, bro, just please. I should have probably just used Hypnosis, actually. Oh my god, it's gonna kill itself. Oh, it's gonna kill me, actually! Jesus! Oh, why, Squirtle? Why? Okay, well, hopefully the other one is still around. That did so much damage to itself. That freaking wave crash, man. Why? Pretty sure the other one disappeared, too. Yeah, it's, it's long gone, bro. <laughs> this is the second starter Pokemon we found that kills itself. So sad. Wow. Is this a horsey outbreak, dude? There's so many horsies here. If not, then, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's just a high spawn rate. Come on, man. There's got to be another Squirtle around. Got a Golette. What's that? No, nothing. I'm sad about that. It's raining too, like, come on. Should be more water Pokemon. I guess not. 
That was our only chance, and it freaking wave crashed itself. Wow. Imagine Litten pops up instead when it's raining. Wait, I don't have any more quick balls now, do I? So even if we found it, it's gonna be rough. We should probably just head back and buy some. Actually, I think this is a little rest area right here. Oh, this is the Amaris trial place. Okay. Why do you never use max revives? Just curious. I don't know. I guess because I save them for like actual battles. They're more useful. In the overworld, I have like hundreds, literally over a hundred revives. So might as well just use them. Yeah, we need, we need more quick balls. Let me just buy 99. Actually, I guess we just do a hundred for the premier balls. We're no longer a two millionaire. Yeah, we have Terrapagos. I've done the whole story. We're basically just grinding for the Perrin quest at this point. Or you need 200 Pokemon. And even though it's it's pretty much self-inflicted torture, but I'm trying to go for all the starters. Like, I feel like we could hit 200 faster going for other Pokemon. But I really want the starters. Just some of them are being a little stubborn. Okay, I'm gonna go back to where we first saw Squirtle. Because clearly it is not popping up here. We found Tepig Outbreak. Ooh. Nice. Got a shiny hunt it now. Okay, we got Tyrogue. Geodude. Where the frick is Squirtle, dude? I'll just knock these guys out so something else can spawn. More Geodudes. Yeah, I, I do need a Lolan Graveler. Oh my gosh, nothing. Oh, yo, it's the area with Cleavor. So I guess Cleavor is like a guaranteed spawn here then. I've seen him multiple times. Well, this is the second time now. But the first time he was also there. Or maybe it's like once a day or every couple hours he just respawns there. Have we not found the last Ditto block? Wow. <laughs> How the frick? All right, let me replace this too. No, I don't want to make sandwich. Oh my god. Okay, fine. I guess I'll make just some random ass sandwich. Since that's all the game wants to give me right now. Now, I'm going to do one more time. Come on. <laughs> of course. Why did I even bother? Yeah, I think everyone gave up. The Ditto blocks are definitely the most annoying quest that you can get. I'm gonna find it though, alright? That's all we're gonna do. Oh, look! A Lolan Graveler, too. I'm gonna stop trying to actually look for the starters and just go complete the quest. And, because I feel like yesterday I was just doing the actual. Well, like, I wasn't focused on actually finding anything and things were just popping up for us as we explored. Yeah, we can do like a water sandwich for Squirtle, that's true. Or just in general, we have other water starters to catch too. Boom. Still missing Excadrill. Actually, I should have caught like other Tyrogue so we can get Hitmonlee and Chan. Cause I don't think you can find those in the wild. They don't seem like wild Pokemon. Or like they would be. But yeah, since I'm being forced to make a sandwich, 
Why? Oh my god, how? What? Where do you want me to go then? <gasps> Tepig! See what I'm saying? Like, when, I, when I'm not looking for starters, the... That's not Tepig. <laughs> I feel like I have a, an easier time finding stuff when I'm not directly looking for them. Come on! No! Yo! What? What's happening? No! Okay, this poor little Tepe was about to fall off the cliff. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna save it. Oh, it's a female. Lucky. Or not. And you've got Head Smash. Why does it seem like every starter Pokemon has a recoil move now? Probably because they want to make it harder for people to... Frick, don't use head... Oh my god. Okay, it misses. It misses. Oh, thank god. Uh, I wish it was nighttime. But whatever. Ultra Ball, please work. Oh, critical catch. Let's go. Thank goodness, man. I could not deal with another freaking starter dying on us. Nice. It's more nimble than it looks, and it uses its speed to confound its enemies. Love it. I love that for it. Alright, we got all three Unovan starters now. If only I could make a sandwich. But I guess the ground here is too uneven. Oh look, another Tyrogue. I need one of those. Oh, there's another one sleeping over there too. Get Hitmonlee and Chan. What is the best pig Pokemon, chat? There's actually a lot of pig Pokemon, which is kind of weird. I mean, the obvious ones, we got to pig and Lechonk. But then there's also Spoink. I feel like there's one more I'm not thinking of. Swinub? Swinub is, is kind of a pig, right? You can find the Hitmons in the caves in the canyon. Oh, I guess they are in the wild. Well, I feel like since we have three Tyrogues already, we might as well just evolve him or them. All right, cool. We're almost there to evolving Chikorita and Trico too. So what's the best pick Pokemon between those four? I think if we're counting evolutions, for me, it would probably be Mamoswine. I think Mamoswine is so sick. Lechonk is maybe the cutest? No, Tepig. It has to, I don't know. I'm between Lechonk and Tepig. Okay, here we should be able to make a sandwich, right? Oh, there's Mankey too, you're right. But I guess Mankey's more of a monkey, just with a pig nose. Pretty sure my thing said to make a sweet sandwich. Let's get cooking! Okay, so there is a... The sweet sandwich is for... Let me see. Sweet Herba Mystica. We can do a fire sandwich. We can do a steel sandwich. Fairy. No. Dark sandwich. That's if I use the Herba Mystica. I don't think I'm even going to do an Herba Mystica though. Let's just do sweet ingredients. Put some apple. Strawberry. Some bananas in there. And whipped cream. No. I guess yogurt works actually. Wait, is yogurt sweet? I don't know. It depends on the yogurt, I guess. We'll just do whipped cream and jam. There we go. Oh my god, I put too many ingredients, man. Oh, uh, now I have to do all of this? Really? D 
do you fail if you like miss any of these ingredients on the sandwich? I don't think I've actually ever failed a sandwich, so I don't know what happens. But this feels like too much to pile on. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on, bananas. There's too many bananas. Don't fall off on me, please. Oh. Uh. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Beautiful. Someone's definitely gonna think that's like chorizo and cheese or something. Pepperoni cheese sandwich. If only we could skip, but alas. It's so sweet! Amazing! Yeah, I know you don't have to put the bun, but I think you gotta get the ingredients on there. Alright, cool. We're done here. Oh my god, of course, chicory. Oh wait, that still counts for... Evolution. Let's go. I thought for a second it would be like the auto battle where your Pokemon don't actually evolve. But we got Bayleaf. Nice. Amazing. Alright, now let's go find that Ditto block, bro. We gotta, like, it's been long enough. And no one else is looking for it, apparently, so... This is gonna be my life's mission now. Is to find this last Ditto block. Out of all the biomes, though, the canyon has gotta be the hardest one to find it in, it seems, cause... Hello? No, I'm not trying to do that. Yeah, there's just so many, like... Difficult to navigate areas in the canyon. And also a lot of these like, I don't know if the ditto block could spawn here for example. Like on one of these. I don't think so. It's like how would you even... Like... Interact with it. Smear goal? I have a good feeling about that platform right there in the middle of the water. Oh, you found him? The last Ditto block has been found? The mission hasn't been completed yet, though. No, it hasn't. Let's see... Nope, not here either. But this is where we spotted Squirtle, isn't it? It was like around here. Come on, Squirtle Squad. Need my redemption. First it was Grookey, now it's freaking Squirtle. Oh, they're talking about something. Uh, yeah, I figured. I don't think Mimikyu Fan is in this squad, actually. Just a weird coincidence that, as I said, we need to find it. <laughs> that message came up. Okay, let's fly around and see if there's any other ditto blocks around. Or Squirtles. I'll take either one. <gasps> Squirtle! Come here! Bro, you better not swim away from me. I swear. I swear, boy. Come here! Nice. Hello, Tharls 2. What a lovely night to see you here. <laughs> Alright. It's gonna wave crash again. I'm, should I just put it to sleep? I can't risk it, man. 
What's up, J-Rail? I don't want to risk this thing wave crashing and, and dying again. I mean, I don't even want to, like, false swipe it either. Oh, we have dive balls, though. Maybe this will work out. Oh! Look at that! The critical catch! Hell yeah. What's up, RMK? How you doing? We got two starters. Because not only did we catch Squirtle, but as you'll see in a second here, one of our starters leveled up. He's in the water. Nice. Safety first, as Lacey said. Got the pool floaty, Grovile. This is actually the thing of my nightmares, bro. Because, like I mentioned, I picked Mudkip as my first starter back in Ruby Sapphire. And when you get to that rival battle on the way to Mauville, because your starter, or back in the day, your rival would actually pick the starter that's good against you. And I had Marsh Tomp. Grovile would absolutely destroy my team. Well, at least my starter. But I don't think I had much of a team. It's like, you're at the second gym, bro. Whoa, there's a special Rhyhorn. Do I have a thing to battle a Terra Pokemon right now? I have one to catch a Steel type. I mean, we're gonna need Rhyperior eventually, so... Let me see if I can get it, get all the way around. Come on, come on. Oh! <laughs> I got too close. Oh, dang. Too bad I have Gallade up first, because I don't actually have any fighting moves on it. It's a Water Terra type, though. Hmm. I thought it was going to be a Stellar type. Whatever. I already have a ride on, so yeah, I guess I don't need this one. No, it just disappears? <laughs> I thought those types of Pokemon stay around. Oh, another Squirtle. Of course, now that we already have one, they pop up like nothing. What's up, Blues Game? Bl Blues Gamer, I mean. Is completing the Pokedex boring? I mean, that's, that's gonna be up to you, bro. I don't know. For me, it's pretty fun. It's tedious, for sure. But I, I'm a completionist when it comes to any kind of video game. So, like, for me, it's pretty fun. Just running around trying to get everything. Except for Squirtle. Squirtle's not that fun. Especially when it just won't stay in the Quick Ball. Now it's asleep, though. I swear, if you still don't stay in the ball, bro. This was level 70, too. Oh! Nice. I never like requiring to do trades in order to complete the decks. Yeah, I agree with that, but also, that's like the backbone of Pokemon. Like, literally, since the very first generation, one of the biggest... Uh, aspects of marketing with Pokemon games was the fact that you could like trade with your friends like they always wanted it to be a quote-unquote social game and by that they mean like yeah you need a friend in order to complete the Pokedex so I feel like that's always gonna be a thing wow literally now Squirtles are all over the place awesome okay what else do I have here Terastalize, travel 100, 500 yards, take a Pokemon in the Savannah. I guess we're never finding that Ditto block, huh? Because <laughs> I'm going back to the Savannah, baby. And this is actually where you can get Charmander, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, let's go back there. Especially in the old days when you needed the cord, yep. I remember with Fire Red and Leaf Green too, like, the selling point was that you had the wireless adapter. It would come packaged with the game. And it was like the first time you could trade without the cord. That was crazy. Alright, let's see. What could be lurking around these muddy pools? Wait, is it here actually? I don't think this is the muddy pool I was thinking of. 
Oh, wait, it is here. Look, we literally have Sabo and Charmander on the map. I don't think this is the exact one I was thinking of, but apparently they are around here, so... Let's just have a look. Yeah, I don't think you can get Iron Leaves or Walking Wake anymore, which is a bit of a bummer. You can't even breed for them either, so like, if you miss the event, it's Jover. Uh, not seeing any starters. Whoa, what? Look at that! <laughs> Wait, can you fight that? If you like land in the- oh! I thought I crashed my game. Oh my god, the mama bird's trying to protect its kid! Yo! <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all. Okay, seriously though, where the frick is Charmander or Sobble? I'm seeing neither of them here. Let's check one of the other pools. I'll do one more run around. Then we can check one of the other pools. Cause I do remember seeing a Sobble when I was like grinding off screen. I remember seeing them pretty often in another one of these like little mud piles. Scrambled my eggs. Yeah, I love the little details in these biomes, dude. Like, they had the whole Lion King reference. And there's little things like that. The Savannah, Savannah biome seems to be the one that has, like, most of that kind of stuff, though. Like, it also has those little dirt traps that Trapinch makes. It's pretty cool. Okay, this is not... Oh, wait! Oh no, that's Dewpiter. Thought that was Sobble for a second. This is not the mud pile I was thinking of, but... I mean, this feels like there might be a Sobble here anyway. Right now, all we got is Dewpiter, but... Yeah, now let me look at another one then. It does say there's Charmander nearby though. Is it this one then? About to tear a fly gone. No Charmerino though. Okay, I think this is it actually. I think it's this muddy area that I found a lot of them in. Maybe not, because I remember it had like, there was an air, there was a part of it that was deep enough to swim. Like it wasn't all shallow like this. Damn, I don't, I don't remember which one it was now. Or where it is. Oh! But there's Sobble! Okay, maybe it was this one after all. Alright, little Sobble, just, just keep looking at whatever you're looking at. Nope. Nope, it noticed. Oh! It runs away though. <laughs> There we go! We got Sobble! I think we're almost there. After Charmander? What are we still missing? Torchic? We got Tepig. We have all the Gen 4. We have... All the Gen 2? No wait, I don't have Totodile yet. Oh my god, how did that Quick Ball almost work, bro? That wasn't even the first turn anymore. Oh, Chespin, too. Okay, so we're missing Torchic, Chespin, Totodile, and Charmander, which Charmander is around this area, so hopefully it won't be too difficult. Fennekin, too. Yeah, I don't think I have Fennekin. Oh, 
Nice. Oh yeah, lit in two. Okay, never mind. We're not <laughs> we're not actually close. <laughs> I thought I was way closer to getting them all, but no. Once we do get them all though, the other cool thing is like we we can just candy them up. So we'll be able to get like a lot of Pokedex entries right off the bat. Okay, yeah, this is the spot if you want to get Sobble for sure. Look at that, we just found three of them. And apparently Fennekin is near. Huh. Okay. But yeah, that's three Sobbles right there. But no Charmander. Okay, Fennekin, where are you at? Hey, what was that? What kind, of, what kind of head pat was that? I have webcam, yeah. No, I just gotta, gotta look out for it. Mm. I was literally about to eat them. Yeah. Also, uh, I have uh, an onigiri in there, right? Let's see, Fennekin, Fennekin, where could you be? Isn't there like sandwiches you can buy for each of the encounter types? Oh, look at that, we don't need no sandwich. We got Fennekin right there. I was about to say though, like I'm pretty sure you can just buy sandwiches so I don't have to actually make them because I suck at making the sandwiches. <laughs> Except the shiny ones. Shiny sandwiches are easy, but everything else, I don't know. I don't know how it works. We got the sassy fox though. Hopefully it doesn't have a recoil move. That would suck. <laughs> huh? Yes. It's a mystery to everyone. Oh! Did we just crit catch it? Okay. Oh, there's nothing. <laughs> it's just, it's so nice. Is it really just a ball of rice? It, it has to be soy sauce, so that's the flavor. Oh. So I got a jelly filled donut from Japan. Oh my god. Yeah, chat does that sometimes. I thought it was going to be full of, like, chicken or something. Or beef. Nope. There's literally nothing inside it. <laughs> wow. That's sad. I wouldn't eat that. There's other ones you have. Yeah, no. I don't, I don't just want to eat rice. But we also have spring rolls. Ooh, those look good on the camera. Look at that. Mmm. Yeah, no, it is good. The rice in Japan is so good. But I don't just want to eat just rice. There's a salmon one. Hi, chat. I gotta open up those paper towels. Oh, yeah. Yes, I We're doing a little snack break. Snack break. Yeah. It's 2.30. I mean, we're going to go cheesy chicken for dinner though, right? Mm. I'll probably stop streaming maybe at like 6. That's fine. Okay, at 7. Yeah, I know it's getting kind of late, so. Well, it's getting late on the East Coast, I guess. But also, it's Friday. What's what? 
Okay. So we got Fennekin. We got Sobble. Now we just need Charmander in this area. And we'll be set. Also, Pokedex check. We are at 167. We only have 33 more Pokemon. If we evolve all the starters and do some of the trades, I mean, that's, I feel like that, that will get right there. How many starters are there? Like, eight generations times three. That's 24. And if they all evolve, that's that, that, way more than 32, 33. <laughs> Have you gotten any of the 25 legendaries? Uh, we ran into Rayquaza yesterday, but I didn't actually catch it. Ooh, Scorching Sands, yo. What was that doing there? Oh, it was literally under the Pride Rock. I didn't even know that was there. Got Pyroar though, what are you guarding, bro? What is this, what is this item? Forest Store, okay. I think I'm gonna go back to the canyon because I really want to find that Ditto block. I feel like we've been with this squad for a while now. And, uh, yeah, I want to give some more people a shot to play. Alright, come on, gang. Let's find this Ditto block. Also, catch one ground type Pokemon. Take a photo of something in flight. Oh, I was supposed to take a photo of something in the savannah. Whoops. Wait, Magneton is in flight, right? That has to count. Did it actually? Wait, that did count. Yeah, now we got 10 auto battles. Okay, what area have we not checked? For starters, this is where we got Trico, I'm pretty sure. Uh, hmm. <gasps> Wait, that's it! Oh my god! It can spawn over there! Yo, we got it! Stop it, Ditto. Come here. Uh. Alright! Ditto block mound. Hell yeah. Good night, Zack Attack. Thanks for coming through. It was shiny. No, it wasn't. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more squad. I'm pretty sure this will be the last squad because we're almost there. We only have like four starter Pokemon left. Whoops. Let me make a list real quick of what starters we're missing. Where's Charmander, Torchic, <clears throat> Chespin, Totodile. Are there any other ones? I think those are it. Let's go, friends. We got Captain Noodles, Elias, and Mahu. Oh, and Litten, too. Okay, so five. Unless there's another one I'm not thinking of, but I think that's it. We'll do a poll for which one you guys think I should catch next. So, Litten. I won't put Charmander because I think I'm going to get a Charmander right now. Whoa! Spoilers! <laughs> I ain't seen that thing yet. What is that? Uh, Chespin, Litten, 
Totodile and Torchic is the last one, right? Okay. What the heck is that? <laughs> okay, at least that one we saw in the trailers before. But yeah, there you go. The poll is in the chat if you guys want to vote. I am going to go find myself a Charmander. Which we saw, like, it popped up around here, like, twice. Let me check this. This area over here. I, I don't know. I have a good feeling about it. Brophy. I don't think I have a Froki actually. But I have Greninja. Yeah, apparently Charmander can spawn anywhere around here. I'm just like confused how we haven't seen a single one. Imagine it was chilling in this little uh, nest. <laughs> Just Charmander in the nest. I'm gonna check the area I marked though because I feel like... I don't know. I just have a good feeling. Alright, how's the poll looking? Ugh! Everybody voted Linen. <laughs> Okay, not everybody, but Litten is definitely winning by far. Okay. Whoa, Zeb Strika, do I have you? No, I don't. Well, it's not quite Charmander, but we got some new. Yeah, you guys are I are telling me. Torchic is in the cave, but apparently most people want me to go catch Litten first. So we gotta go back to the canyon. Ooh, let's go, crit capture. Have you been to the river in Kitakami with the Terra Turtle? Wait, the river or the crystal pool? We definitely have been. There's a Team Star quest back in the Academy. Oh yeah, we did that earlier today. But yeah, we also have been to the pool, of course. As Poplio's evolving! Oh, it's in the water! That's cute! It's actually swimming. That's a pretty cool coincidence. Water evolution! <laughs> we got Brione. Brione? Whatever. We got this clown. All right, Charmander, come out, bro, please. Apparently also Tauros counts for the Pokedex, even though it's just a regional form. I didn't realize that regional forms were like separate Pokedex entries, but I guess that was a thing back in uh, the Teal Mask too, like Wooper had a separate Dex entry. It's pretty cool. Hey! What's going on? What you doing, Tauros? Where's Totodile, by the way? I see Zachary just found one. Where'd you find it, bro? Because I actually have no idea where... I haven't seen a Totodile ever. Oh, come on, catch him. Eh, nice. Even though that didn't do much. But at least it's nighttime. Next to me? Oh, like you're in the game? Oh, you're Captain Noodle. Okay, hold up. I'm coming, bro. I'm coming. We got Tauros. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can. <sighs> Come on, Tauros. Okay. Uh. Oh! Wait, so Totodile is like right here? Or in this same area? 
I guess that makes sense. It's a little crocodile that would, it would be in the savanna. I've actually never seen Totodile in this game. Except the trailer, of course. Okay, there's Cap'n Noodle. And there's Totodile! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, he's so cute! I love Totodile. He's such a goof. Look, he's even next to his other little crocodile friend. We got Sandile. This is the perfect Pokemon to quick fall because its color scheme is literally blue and yellow. And there's a little bit of red in there too, but... I mean, the, the quick fall didn't even work, so... Let's try again! Oh, it's got Thrash! I mean... It could potentially hit itself in confusion. <laughs> so... Basically, we need to catch it this turn, or we could try putting it to sleep. Now, we're gonna catch it. This is guaranteed right now. Okay, it's not guaranteed. We didn't critical catch, but... No! Don't dial! It's gonna die. It's gonna die. And so, another Pokemon falls itself. <laughs> I cannot believe this, man. I should have went for the Hypnosis instead. I mean, at least we know it's around here now. But can we actually get another one to spawn is the question. I'm so sad. I cannot believe that's happened so many times, this, this stream. <laughs> can it be in the water, too? I'm assuming Totodile can swim. Oh! Okay! <laughs> that wasn't so bad! We got another one! Ketchum's about to die, though. And I still keep forgetting to nickname Ketchum, but whatever, at this point, we got it. All right. That's one off the list, so now we're just missing, well, still five because apparently I didn't have Froakie. Okay. Where the frick is Charmander? I know we saw it earlier around here, this beginning area, but also it was popping up like here, I think. Let's just run to it naturally, because you never know. Yeah, yeah, we're- oh! You gotta be kidding me, bro. <laughs> I speaks it and so it shall happen. You never know, right guys? You never know. <laughs> and we critical catch it too. Let's go. All right, now we're officially down to the final four. Fuego's back, baby. Even though I have like a million Fuegos already in my PC. Well, technically, I think I have one that I transferred from a while ago from another Pokemon home. Wait, did I not have Cyndaquil? I swear I have a Cyndaquil. I'm pretty sure I have a Cyndaquil from Pokemon Legends. Where are the home Pokemon? There we go, home. Yeah, I have a Cyndaquil, unless it doesn't count for the Dex. But I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, this is the original Dango, too. Oh my god, another one! Are you kidding me? Okay. 
It should count. Yeah, that's what I figured. We in the bushes. We camouflaging. Please don't have Flare Blitz. Okay, actually, I guess... Oh, a female Charmander, too! This is gonna be Fuega! <laughs> nice. I like the Repeat Ball for Charmander, too. That's pretty cool. Alright, you're gonna be... Actually, I think I do have a nickname for female Charmander. I usually nickname him Cinder. We got Fuego and Cinder. Okay. Now. It's lit in time. I know Litten was in the canyon, but I forget exactly where. Maybe around here? Though some of you guys were saying that uh, it spawns more likely in like the dirt area than the grass. Let's see what kind of quest we got. Catch a ground type, take a photo of something swimming, and a photo in the savanna. <laughs> I could have done that before. I, I didn't even know I had that. But there's definitely some swimming Pokemon around here. I know that. Oh, Mahalu shared a photo. Let's see it. Oh, someone left. What the frick? The comfy, nice. <laughs> Maybe you just needed a photo of a flying Pokemon. You know, I needed a photo of a swimming Pokemon, so... There, I'm gonna share that beautiful, beautiful thing. Yeah, to get the flying upgrade, you gotta beat the main story, and then... I forget exactly, I think we just talked to Amaris in the League Club Room. Is that Lantern? Oh, that is Lantern! We don't have a Lantern yet. Apparently it's too far though. Come here! We gots to get El Tigre. El Tigre is the objective right now. Can I join since someone left? Can people join in, in the middle of it? I don't actually know. Maybe you can go back on the stream and check the code. Yeah, I don't think so either. This thing's got flail. And Aqua Ring, come on. I just got you to red HP. Why you gotta do this to me? Okay, well, I mean, I guess that means we can go for another false swipe. Why did I go for another false swipe? <laughs> You can't make this up, man. You cannot make this up. But Charlie's evolving now! Yay, Charlie! We got Duat. Boom. Wait, why did the Pokedex not show Snivy? I feel like the Pokedex is tripping sometimes. Maybe it did show it. Is that another lantern? Okay, we get another shot, at least. Yeah, I love that water Pokemon actually swim. That's one of the coolest, like, little features they added in. Ooh, there we go! Redemption! All right, got Lantern in there. Now let's look for this Litten. Do we even see it on the map? It is on the map and Excadrill too, apparently. I don't have an Excadrill yet. 
We could just evolve Drill Burr. But I mean, if I see a wild Excadrill, I'll definitely catch that. Oh god. Oh no, do what? Okay, you're safe. For now. Come on, I just- I hope Litten just pops up in the background right now, that'd be sick. And... Okay, nothing yet. Let's not lose hope, boys. Let's not lose hope. Ooh, what is this cave? Future Sight! Okay, no lane. Never mind. <laughs> but it's around here somewhere, so maybe if we just keep doing, like, laps around this area... The spawns reset, right? So you get new things to pop up. I think I also have to auto battle stuff, so let's do that. Even though Bayleaf is kind of close to evolving, maybe I shouldn't because then it wouldn't evolve if it levels up through auto battle. Found a shiny Magby! Dang, okay! Congrats! That's the word I was thinking of earlier when someone found a shiny. I was like, good luck! <laughs> you found a shiny, good luck! Meant to say congrats. I guess that makes me Ortega from Team Star. English is not my strong suit sometimes. Alright, let's look around up here, actually. El Tigre seems like it would be the climbing type, so I wouldn't be surprised to find it up on these cliffs. How did Golet get up here? I have no idea. Is one of my things auto battle? Yeah, it is. And then catch a ground type. So we need Excadrill to pop up. Come on, Excadrill. Where you at, bro? Wait, oh, Turtwig! You know what I'm looking for! Or do I just, do I just catch this Drill Burr? We could just evolve it, actually. Yeah, I know we could just make a sandwich. But I don't even- I don't know how to make a fire sandwich. <laughs> actually, maybe we should, because we have to go get Torchic afterwards. Maybe I should just do a sandwich. We could even do a fire shiny sandwich. I have the recipe for that. Okay, we got Drillber. Oh, I should have put it in the party so we could just evolve it. But hey, at least someone else gets to evolve. It's Bayleaf! Spicy? Is that how it works? I don't think just because the sandwich is spicy, it doesn't mean it's like guaranteed to be fire tight. But nice, we got Meganium. And a pedal dance. Yeah, for some reason it's not showing uh, Cyndaquil on the Pokedex, I don't think. Maybe because I transferred it before it was like the DLC came out. I don't think that should matter though. Alright, let me figure out how to make this this uh, fire sandwich. Let's let's throw up a picnic. So apparently a fire shiny fire sandwich is basil with a salty and a sweet herba mystica. You know what? I'm gonna Here, first off, we need to do this. Oh, did I just see an Excadrill in the back? Pretty sure I just saw an Excadrill. But also, we need to get rid of Meganium. Let's get another starter in here. Let's do Snivy. Yeah, I do see Excadrill. Hell yeah. At least we got some we needed. Even though I literally just caught Drillber. Yo, bro, don't get angry at me, please. Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's real angry. Oh my god, he's super angry. <laughs> okay, fine. Here, I'll just 
good old fashioned way. Oh, I thought that was a critical catch. But we still get it though. Let's go. What's up, she she she? How you doing? Try sinking Golden Go. He's a fast boy. Ooh, I saw a clip of that actually. It looks so cool. Yeah, we still haven't gotten Chespin either. Right now we're after Litten. And also, we're gonna get Sceptile! Our starter collection is coming along quite nicely, I will say. Also the Pokedex. Like, I'm pretty sure we, we're at under 30 now. This man's learning Leaf Blade, okay. Kenny the Torchic, Otto the Chespin, El Tigre the Litten. There's one more, what's uh... Froki? Do I have a Froki nickname? I don't actually remember. But yeah, now let's save. And we'll do this picnic. Wasn't it Slurp? Pretty sure I had a, a Froakie named Slurp at one point. I don't remember the occasion or why I called it Slurp. But that's, that's what I called it. Alright, so like I was saying, we need some basil, which I have literally one basil, and then a sweet and a salty? I hope this is right. We'll put the fiery pick in there too, just because it's literally a fire sandwich. <laughs> oh, what the heck? The leaves actually come apart. I thought it was just a single, like... Clover. Amazing sandwich. Would you eat this? <laughs> Come on, tell me you wouldn't eat this sandwich. Especially with the mag mortar on it. Now that's a sandwich. Om nom 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 nom. Oh. What kind of flavor profile was that? It had lightning bolts. Well, whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it should give us a sparkling power and encounter power fire. So we're gonna try to use this sandwich to get both Litten and Torchic. But also, now that uh, Sceptile evolved, let's get Grookey Gang in here. And I need to revive. Oh, never mind. Gally got revived from the sandwich. Let's go. Okay. <gasps> what? First try. <laughs> I guess Lynn must be the only fire type around these parts then, huh? We got it immediately. Wow. Should have done this a long time ago, huh? What's the best Pokeball for a Litten? I mean, I guess we just got a quick ball because it's the first turn. I don't like it, but I'll do it. Master Ball. <laughs> yeah, Timer Ball looks pretty sick, but also Timer Ball is going to take a minute. Oh my god, you burned me. How could you do this to me? Okay, at least it stopped raining. Hey, that's actually worse for us. Now it's going to... Do more damage. Oh, you got Swagger! You're laying crazy! How many Pokemon still need? We're down to the final... Three? Maybe four? Yeah, final four. But after we catch this Litten, it'll just be three. Oh, it's got Flare Blitz. Okay, I'm glad I didn't... Keep false swiping it. Oh, there's another one in the background. The catch him cured its burn. Nice. I mean, Dust Ball is not bad. It does evolve into a dark type, so. 
Let's get it! Litten is back! El Tigre is back, baby! I don't know if I would want a shiny Litten just because I already have a shiny Litten from a long time ago, but I think it was actually traded to me. So I guess it would be cool to have one of my own. But as for El Tigre, El Tigre is not shiny. So that's gonna be him. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of Litten popping up now. Oh, what is this? Oh my god, I didn't even see that one. What the hell? Oh, do we have a group quest? Oh no, it's fine, Ditto. What? Didn't we already do this? I guess that's a different one. In the coastal biome, though. I'm in the canyon. Uh. Alright, yeah, definitely a lot of Torchics now. Or sorry, Litten. But also, I do want to go try to get Torchic, so I think it's time to head over to Chargestone Cave. At least that's where people seem to say that Torchic is. I'll just do one more run around, just in case we happen to get a shiny Litten. That'd be pretty crazy. Oh, dang! Okay, Captain Noodles, you're just carrying the team on your back, huh? Got all those Ditto blocks immediately. Yeah, bro, it's crazy how this shine or this sandwich like completely changed this area. It's pretty much only lit and spawning here now, which means shining finding a shiny shouldn't be that difficult. Polar biome cave. All right, let's go check it out then. Anyone know where the entrance to the cave is? I'm actually, I'm going to mark this though, just because now we know that Litten spawns around here pretty easily. Yeah, the sparkling power three, or fire power three. Um, I think maybe around here. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it's literally right here. Into the cave! Final three. The hunt begins. I mean, right off the bat, we don't see any Torchic, so that's a little bit... ...weird. Whoa! We must go deeper! Ooh, actually, I don't have a Plusle yet. Hello, little buddy. Have a good night, Pokey Send. Thanks for joining. Oh, it's not Charged Stone Cave? Is it the Fire Torch Cave or whatever it's called? I did manage to find that one earlier, but I have no idea how to find it now. Any cave but Charged Stone. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess it's not here. But hey, we found Plusle. That's a plus, if you know what I'm saying. Do you know when episode 3 will come out? I don't think episode 3 is coming out. <laughs> I was looking at the numbers. And it's not looking too hot. But I do have plans to do something else. There will be a, a more edited version of the playthrough. Uh, which might come out tomorrow or Sunday. I'm going to start working on it tonight. But, I mean, I feel like people actually have been tuning into the full stream, so if you want to watch, like, you can always go back and watch the VOD again. I don't have a Galvantula either, I just remembered. But I do have plans for a lot of other content regarding the DLC. Oh, look, Chespin! Yo! What the heck is Chespin doing here? Uh, totally not what I was looking for, but... I'll take it. And the Galvantula too. Which means we're down to the final two. Well, I shouldn't say that. We haven't actually caught Chespin yet. And judging by how it's been going with some of the other Pokemon, I'm not going to count my eggs too quick, if you know what I mean. Because, uh... 
Yeah, this Chespin might just run away. <laughs> we, we gotta wait for Brion to evolve. Let me, let me keep an eye on him. Oh my god, it's literally running. No, no, Chespin, come back. Okay, he stopped. Please, Otto. Otto, it's me. It's your buddy. It's me. Please, just wait. Okay, we got the sparkling Aria. I, I literally, I don't care. I just don't want this Chespin to run away. Okay. Okay, okay, we're fine. Now we just gotta... Back throw. Yeah, we do need Joltik as well. I just noticed that in the Pokedex. But Chespin's more important, bro. This this is, seems... I mean, I've seen Joltik running around the cave all the time. But Chespin, though, is also caught. Very nice. And this is, of course, going to be... Auto. Autobots roll out. I should have added it to the party, actually, because... Uh... Brioni evolved, so we have room. Oh, it's right here, though. Okay. We got all... Well, almost all grass starters. Once Charlie evolves, it'll literally just be full grass squad. I think Charlie's pretty close to evolving, too. We might just get it from this Joltik. Yeah, I'm trying to fill up the Pokedex right now. Well, maybe not fill it up all the way, but at least get to 200. And then it's gonna get real crazy. Nice! We got Joltik. And we get Charlie Evolution, too. Just like I called. Boom. Oh, don't we have to trade for Porygon, too? We should probably do all the trade evolutions since, you know, I have people here playing with us. Gotta take advantage of that. But we got Samurott. I don't care about Slash, bro. You don't need Slash. You're fine. Alright. Let's get the full Grass Starter Squad. You guys don't belong in here. What are you doing in here? Oh my god. Wait, I already ran out of box space? Oh no. Right here. I mean, I guess Primarina does belong, actually. There we go. I could real quick evolve these two Tyrogue. Wait, how much are we at for the Pokedex, actually? Yeah, I did have a Samurott. I know, I know that one. So I actually didn't need... Okay, we're down to 17. I need to find this Torchic, bro. I'm literally wasting my Fire Sandwich right now. You guys said it's one of the caves in the Ice Biome, though. Any one of them, right? Did you know you misspelled Clement's name in the title? I did not know. I'm not surprised, though. Yo, it's Chimchar! How do you have a bunch of Chimchar, though? Well, not a bunch, but I have a Chimchar, at least. An Infernape, actually. What the hell is that? Oh, that's Score Bunny. I'm like, what? I didn't even know what that was, bro. That looks so weird at first. But apparently we just gotta, gotta find a cave. It's crazy how with the Fire Sandwich, though, like, that's all that's spawning here in the Ice Biome. It's just Score Bunnies and Chimchars. Literally, that's all we're getting. Well, Crab Brawler had to go ruin it. Uh, I'm not seeing any caves, though. Except for Chardstone Cave, which I'm pretty sure is back down this way. What does Shiny Chimchar look like again? I'm pretty sure it's just like yellow, right? I don't think it looks that different from regular. By Drayden's area? Alright, we'll go check it out. 
Oh, Chimchar's pink. You're right. Score Bunny's yellow, though, but when it evolves, it's like grayish. That's what I was thinking of yesterday. I thought Score Bunny was like gray, shiny. Okay. Drayden's thing is that? I think. Wait, no, it's not. Is it? There's another cave right there, though, unless that's just Charge Stone Cave. Whoa! Hey, where's all the Fire Starter Pokemon? I guess they're only up on the higher part of the caves, huh? What? This is also Charge Stone Cave? What the heck? Whatever, man. Let me just fly to Drayden's area then. Oh, this was it. Polar Plaza. Alright. Where, oh where, could be the cave be? Oh, I see it. It was like back there. Wait, was it? Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. And then after this, we're literally only going to be missing Froki. Which I also have no idea where Froki is. Whoa, what is wrong with my game? Wait, is this really it? There's only two Numals in here. What? <laughs> I mean, I guess if we fight them, it'll make other things spawn. There's nothing in this cave, though. Hello? That cave is so tiny. There's no way that was it. I mean, it could be it. The cave above it? Is there really another cave above? Huh? Oh really? What what what's the news? What's the tea? Oh here we go, we got another cave over here. Torchic! No shiny, but we got Torchic. Come here. Wait, actually. Turn around. There we go. Alright. Oh, a Rotom appeared too out of nowhere. <laughs> Two Rotom. Nice. That one cave is the only place to find Torchic? Really? In the whole game. This is the only place Torchic spawns. That's wild. At least it was easy. We got Kenny. Kenny's back, baby. That's wild if this is really the only cave in the whole game. Whoa, what the hell? What is that? Man's pulled out some glow sticks out of nowhere. How do we get more to spawn then? Damn, Torchic seems really hard to shiny uh, hunt then, because... Yeah, not a lot of them appear. There's only two right now. So you just gotta wait around until they pop up. Oh, I guess if you do that, you get two spawns, that's it. Oh no, three. Okay. I'll take three Torchic spawning. We're gonna get this shiny, guys. I guess we just go in and out of the cave and they respawn. Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty reliable actually. 
You can get three of them to spawn. I mean, this is easier than Lit and Wit, which is so easy to miss. Like, this shiny hunt, we literally just... Run in and out. The only problem would be, like... I don't know, there's not really a problem. I guess just the fact that only three of them spawn. There's not a lot of encounters. We're gonna get our first shiny starter, bro. I feel it. Might not be Torchic, but it's coming. Oh no, Grookey! Why you do that, buddy? I mean, it was my fault, really. Have a good night, Chonky Toad. Thanks for joining. And playing along. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this Matang, bro. This thing's annoying me. I mean, I guess it was keeping us company. Now the cave is gonna be real empty. But this is a ghost type Matang. Interesting. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna miss my attack, probably. What's Torchic Shiny again? I think it's just yellow. Or like, more yellow. But what the frick? Why is Terrapagos back there? Y'all see that? <laughs> frick are you doing there, Terrapagos? Chien Pao? What? Yo, is everyone in this cave now? Oh god, this is gonna be rough if everyone's in the cave. Oh my god. Actually, I might just knock this thing out. He's just enjoying the shiny one. It's true. Good strategy if you got a 3 star sandwich, use camp reset method and running to the right of the cave. Thing is I feel like not a lot- Oh! Yo, Snivy! Let's go! Unfortunately, Grookey messed up his evolution, but we got Servine at least. Oh my god, what? Th I didn't know this dude Raludon was legit. I thought it was just. Uh, what? Okay. I thought two people were here in the cave with me, like, that were playing along. <laughs> I was able to get, like, 10 of them to spawn. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so random. <laughs> what is Terrapicos doing here? Bro, wait, what is happening? How come. Is it because, uh, the other player is nearby? Is that why now not a lot of Torchic are spawning? I think that might be it. What the frick? Shiny Ogre Pond? H How? Oh, dude, we got a Sandshrew. Whoa, a Lolan Sandshrew! Oh, never mind. I guess not. Alright, I'm gonna go back for Litten then. I think because there's two people close by, it's not making the Torchic spawn. Also, we only got 10 minutes on the sandwich left, so... Wish me luck. The good thing is, in this area, it seems like pretty much only Litten spawns. Oh! I heard the Peach Pokemon is released. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> People have it, but it doesn't mean it's been released. Uh, but if you have a modded Switch, I'm pretty sure you can just hack it in.
The thing I don't know if it's better to just run around or just wait until a lot of Litten spawn and reset with the picnic. I kind of prefer just running around because it's more active. And uh, you guys know I get easily distracted. So if I was just sitting there like looking for them or waiting for them to spawn, I feel like I'd probably miss it somehow. Oh my god, what? Yo! What I Where are you going, bro? Yeah, I guess if we like run around these cliffs... Actually, nothing even spawned right there. I do wonder though what the official event for that Peach Pokemon is going to be. Not like in-game, but like how they're going to release it. Like, is it just going to be Mystery Gift? That seems to be the common thing now, or it could be like a in-person. They haven't done something like that in a while. Like, Zarude, I think he had to go in person and get the code, right? Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. For a second, I thought maybe you guys were in the Torchic Cave because we had to take a picture or something for the quest. But nah. We were just having some fun in the polar sun. Okay. I'm gonna test it out. Like, if I just sit here, will Littens just spawn? Probably for Pokemon Day or Christmas? I don't know, I feel like that would be too soon. I think they're gonna wait until next year at least. Yeah, no, no Littens are spawning. Well, one did. Literally just one. It could be Pokemon Day though. Isn't Pokemon Day in like February? I am kind of surprised though that I haven't seen anyone send out the Peach Pokemon. Like, because you can hack it in, right? But I don't know if you'd be able to bring it online. I mean, somehow people have Shiny Ogre Pot apparently. <laughs> so I, I assume you would be able to have the Peach Pokemon too. But maybe it's more risky to actually show it. Yeah, I heard about the new Academy Ace Tournament. A couple of people have commented about that. I guess Gita got an upgrade, finally. Okay, maybe there's other place that Litten spawn? Oh. Long have we waited, man. For real. Gita needed it. There's a lot of Litten up here. Well, two so far. Come on, give me one more. No? Okay. Just, just the two, I guess. Feeling like my sandwich is almost out. Not a hundred percent sure, but it feels like we're nearing the end of it. Maybe Gita will be worth the fight this time? I hope so. I mean, literally all they had to do was put King Gambit at the end of her team instead of at the beginning. And Glamora at the beginning. Just swap Glamora and Gambit and immediately she becomes like 10 times harder. The rest of her Pokemon or whatever, like, I mean, yeah, they could be better. But literally just those two changes already make her a lot stronger. Oh, nice. We got a hint quest. What could it be? 
It's an artificial Pokemon. Since it doesn't breathe, people are excited by its potential to be useful in any environment. It doesn't breathe? So, like, is it Porygon? Porygon's actually kind of rare, no? Alright, let's see. Come on, little Litten. Shine for me. I wonder if I can just go in that little cave and come back out and maybe that'll reset it. I feel like just going over here doesn't... Yeah, these land at least don't seem to reset. Hmm. We could do picnic too. I just, I don't like having to set up the picnic and going back. Oh, dude, Hitmonchan. The frick? Oh, no! Oh, nice. Someone caught the Litten. Dude, Cab Noodles just carried us through all of these. Yeah, we have two minutes left. Two minutes, guys. Predictions. Do we got this? <laughs> we definitely don't got this. Definitely feels like not enough for spawning, though. For like us to have really good... Wow, right as I said that, five pop up out of nowhere. They're like, what you say? Not enough Litten spawning? Alright, here's here's like five more. Maybe we got a little too lucky with the back-to-back -back shinies. Litten would have been too much to ask for, huh? I feel like I would have been better off just running around the polar biome. There was a lot of Chimchar and Score Bunny spawning. Yeah, no. It's not happening. It's alright though. You know, you can't get them all. Such is the way the shiny hunt go with. Unless. 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 <laughs> I'm just setting myself up for the clip, alright? Come on, say it with me, guys. Unless... I'm surprised this egg has not run out, actually. Or the sandwich. Like, this has been the longest minute ever. Oh, and there it goes, yep. It's over! 
The dream is dead. Which means it's Froki time. You guys said it's in the north of the polar biome or coastal? Northern part of the coastal zone near Lacey's thing. All right, let's go there. The final starter Pokemon we need is Froki. I like Loki want to reset for my Herba Mystica, but then we would lose all of the other Pokemon I caught. And at this point, I mean, it's we can get more Herba Mystica. We'll be fine. Now, where could Froki be? Oh, actually, isn't this the girl that? Oh no, never mind. Wait, maybe actually. Nope, she's a battle. Awesome. Someone was saying that someone around this area can make the Galerica wreaths to evolve Slowpoke with. Uh, maybe it is her actually. Maybe you have to battle her first. Because she does have the, the two Slowpokes. Probably not her though, but putting this guy to sleep. I'm not trying to- oh my god, of course. <sighs> At least it doesn't kill us. She's at the center of the coastal. Oh, okay. I mean, I think that's where we are, but I guess it was closer to where Lacey is. I should just switch out, uh, Galley, too. This is not... Actually, no, I don't have any good Pokemon. I need to heal up my Arcanine, bro. I got no one else that can beat these two slow bros. Okay. That's at least one of them down. This guy's still sleeping. I guess Galley can at least help do some damage. You're sleeping, bro. What are you trying to quick draw for? Imagine you got that much of a trigger finger that like even while you're sleeping, someone sneaks into your house. You're like, you're ready, bro. You sleep with one eye open all the time. I mean, I know low-key, like, some people do that. They'll, like, sleep with a gun under their bed or something. <laughs> under their pillow. Hey, Bonsai! Let's go. What's up, JYT fam? How you doing? Alright, we got one grass starter evolved. Well, actually two, because Snivy already evolved. And I'm pretty sure Grookey too. You would have been a Rillaboom by now, bro, if I if I didn't mess up with the auto battles, but that's okay. We got Thwacky. Boom. I don't want that. Oh, that's it. For some reason I thought more of them got the XP. Oh, auto didn't yet. But you know what? I'm gonna give you some candies, bro. Oh, actually, Otto's literally just... Probably just needs one candy. There we go. Now we got all the middle stage grass starters. I had a tough time catching Grookey too, actually, Cade. Thing kept knocking itself out with wood hammer. It was not fun. But anyway, we're literally just missing one starter now, and it is Froki. So let's have a look around here. Oh my god, I thought that was it. <laughs> it's just NK.
Apparently it is around this area though. Actually, if we look at our map, I bet it's there. Nope, never mind. Uh, Blossom is though. Can Blossom really spawn here? Like on this little grass patch or what? Somehow I cannot imagine Blossom popping up here in the sand. That'd be weird. Little beetling, okay. I wonder if it would be in the water though. I feel like I imagine Froakie more being like on the sand than in the water, but it can probably spawn in either. Ah! The fact that I'm not seeing it on the mini map though kind of feels like it might not be here. You guys were saying the north of the coastal biome, so it might be like in any of this area. I mean, even if we threw up a water sandwich, it wouldn't really help in this case, because there's a lot of water Pokemon around. Let's have a look around here. Is that a slack off? Okay. Yeah, I figured it might be in the mud before you guys told me where it was. Because it's a frog. But maybe, maybe he just likes the beach. Come on, Froakie, where you at, buddy? It's nowhere nearby, apparently. Want a Squirtle? I think Squirtle was in the canyon. At least that's where I found it. There's like a few rivers around there you can find them in. Come on, Crab Brawler, you trolling me, bro. Okay, where exactly have you guys seen it? Is it on the beach? I've only seen Poplio. It popped up twice. But no Froakie though. Yeah, starters, you need to upgrade your uh, Terrarium first. And they're also like... I mean, some of them are rare. I feel like a lot of them are not that rare. Mostly in the grassland. Okay, then I'm not even in the right spot then. Let's look up here where I was earlier. Between the beach and that island. Oh. Huh. Oh, I'm gonna look around in the grass though. Let's see the mini map. Oh! Yeah, there it is! Oh, I don't have Whimsicott yet either. No, not Oricorio! I mean, I actually don't have this form of Oricorio yet, but I don't think it really... Yeah, it's not gonna count for the decks, because it already have the Pokeball on its head. But... Come on! <laughs> I was gonna say, for completion's sake, I'm gonna still get it. But now, I don't feel like it. What the frick? What is this? Okay. I'm gonna catch this Whimsicott and Froakie's gonna appear. You'll see. This is gonna be in the background, chilling. I believe. Ooh, nice. What's up, Haitian? Nice, bro. Just got the DLC ready to go. Uh, 
All right. That swims it caught done. Now, where is our little hopping frog? Do I have Bioplume, actually? Ooh, I don't. That's pretty cool to see, like, a wild, fully evolved Pokemon like that. Especially one that evolves by stone. I mean, I guess Executor is the exact same thing, but... I don't know, Vileplume hits different for some reason. Oh my god. And suddenly... It's hitting way different. Another player found him? Wait, found Grookey? Hold up, let's see, let's see. I'm about to skip out on this Vile Plume, bro, I don't care. Is there someone around near me? Oh! We got Iono down there, hold up, that might be it. Let's go see. I mean, maybe we'll find one on, on our own, like, as we're on our way there, too. Like what happened with Charmander earlier. Oh! There it is! <laughs> Froakie! The final starter Pokemon we need! Come on, turn around for me. Okay, fine. I guess don't turn around. I'm gonna catch you anyway. Is this it? Yes, it is! Critical capture! And we've got every single starter Pokemon. Oh my god. That was a mission. Wow. <laughs> that was probably the grindiest thing we've maybe ever done in this game. But we did it. It does feel pretty rewarding, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's nice completing the decks. Wow. I almost don't believe it. What? Is that a shiny Greninja? Oh my god. Alright, so we have 190. We just need 10 more Pokemon. I definitely want Magmortar and Electivire, just because those you can only get by trading. And then Kingdra. Are there any other trade only Pokemon? I guess there's Porygon. So if anybody wants to help me out with any of those, I would be much appreciated. Oh yeah, there's Rhyperior too. So that's already five Pokemon right there. Yeah, I can just evolve the starters too. I just wanted to get the trades done so I can complete the decks. Oh yeah, dude, Double Trouble, you've been asking for a while, so let's do it, bro. Thank you so much though, Cotton Noodles and Mahalu. You guys are clutch. Yeah, I have the items, I'm pretty sure. Let me put the items on them first. Also, I need to find them. Okay, so we got Electabuzz. I'm pretty sure I found the Electorizer back in the Chargestone Cave. Maybe I'm trolling, but I'm pretty sure I do. I have the Protector, that's for sure. Where the frick is the elect- uh, I have the Magmarizer! Oh no, I don't have the Electorizer, do I? Uh, I thought I had the Electorizer, I guess I don't. I have the Magmarizer though, and the Protector. Uh, so let's just find Magmar then. Okay, there's Magmar. Electorizer is a dex reward. Oh, okay. Then I guess we can just do that. Same for Porygon, actually. I'm pretty sure. Well, let me first evolve these uh, starters that I have with me. But you get the Porygon items from dex rewards, too, I think. Okay. Uh, I think I already have... Oh, nice. Level 69. 
I was gonna say, I think I already have Chestnut in the Pokedex, but I don't think I have any of the other ones, like Rillaboom, Superior, or Torterra. So that's another one. Oh my god. What was that? What was that? What just happened? Why are you trying to hit my head? What? Okay, why are you trying to throw a foot Coco at my head still? <laughs> Crazy. We got banana! Oh yeah, that was my Snivy nickname. I think that was from the uh, Volt White and Blaze Black Nuzlocke. I had Banana, the Snivy. Alright, cool. That's two down. And then last one should be Mojo. There we go. Then we'll, we'll grab the Dex Rewards and see if we can get the Electorizer. Oh yeah! Rilla boom boom boom! Alright. Now like I said, I already have a chestnut somewhere in here, so we're not gonna do that one. And then, got Ride on right here. We'll grab Electabuzz. We'll grab Magmar. What are the other trade evolutions? Kingdra. We got Kingdra right here. And, I think that might be it. Porygon, right. Okay, Porygon is somewhere. Aha! Is that all of them? I think that's it. So for Rhydon, we need this. Kingdra you can find in Terra Raid. Yeah, I mean, I think you can find a lot of them in the Terra Raid battles, but might as well evolve them the good old fashioned way, right? Dragon scale. There you go. So for completing a certain amount of the Pokedex, you get rewards. Uh, is it this? Nope, that ain't it. Is it this? Haha! -ha! We get an upgrade! And a dubious disc! And a Safari Ball, okay. Alright, there's the Electorizer, nice. I guess you can get a Magmarizer that way too. And a Protector, alright. <laughs> and a Dragon Scale? I guess we got multiples now. What even is that? A Metal Alloy, okay, cool. So that's two more of the items that we needed. First, we got, uh, uh, where is it? <laughs> Aha! Electorizer for Electabuzz, and upgrade for Porygon. Alright, you trying to trade? Wait, who was it that was trying to trade again? Double trouble, right? Hopefully you're still around. If you are, let me know if you're ready and we'll set the link code. So I think what we should do, I mean, if you have the Pokemon too with the items, it would be cooler if you can just send me it so that I can uh, 
what's it called? Like, it'll evolve on screen for me. But if not, then it's cool. We can just trade whatever. So, we should do Porygon into Porygon 2 and then you trade it back to me so that I can get both in the Pokedex. But yeah, let me know when you're ready. Just, you make the link code. Because if I do it, then someone else is probably going to join my trade. Yeah, I don't know if you have the, the Pokemon with the items or if you already have them evolved. Either way, it's fine. As long as we got this music going on, I'm fine. I mean, yeah, people will see it in the chat, but I don't think that anyone else will join. Well, I hope not. Okay, we got the code. Let's go. Hopefully I typed it fast enough that no one else did it first. <laughs> Taking an unusually long time. Are you online by any chance, sir? Or, I mean, offline. Yeah, no one could be found. Weird. Yeah, weird that we couldn't find each other. I'll try again. Yeah, this is a little strange. Wait, this is how it works, right? I just put the code in there and we should be able to connect. I got the wrong number. No, I'm pretty sure I put it correct. Maybe we'll try a different number. It's because I'm in union. I'm not in a union. Maybe we could do a union room though at this point, but then I don't know if it, uh, I don't know. What's up, Hari? How you doing? If we do a union room, I mean, that's how we did it last time, right? Like for the Teal Mass DLC and we got every Pokemon that we needed. So I feel like maybe union room is the way. So, hopefully, people that have the new Pokemon. So, we need Electivire, Magmortar, Rhyperior, Kingdra, Porygon 2, and Porygon Z. So, if anybody wants to help me get any of those Pokemon, and you have, preferably, the pre-evolutions with the items, join. I'm pretty sure just random people are going to join, but we'll see. <laughs> Maybe you can still get in Double Trouble, I'm, I don't know. You can try with the code. We got Jay in here. Oh, you have Electivire, Magmortar, and Rhyperior? Oh, we already got two people in here, so... Unless you are Jay. I don't know. There's room for one more. We got Sacha! Oh, what's up, Jose? I do remember you, bro. How you doing? See, you got a different name. Okay, let me know in chat if you are one of these three people that just joined. So we can, like, uh, coordinate these trades. I also don't remember how to actually do the trades. Let me see. Also, the Violet Paradoxes. Oh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I haven't even seen the Paradoxes yet, so... 
I guess I wasn't prioritizing those. <laughs> nice. Got the selfie. Hold on, I'm gonna hit you with the pose. Hasta la vista! <laughs> Alright, how do we actually do these trades then? Do we have to go back through Poke Portal? I forgot, how do you trade with people that are like in your group already? Do we just not put a code? Oh yeah, there we go. They're, they're in the background. I don't know if that's how it works. I don't know if this is how it works. <laughs> I think you talk to them. No, wait, maybe? I don't think you can. Yeah, well, this person's taking a selfie, so... Maybe that's why, but I don't think that's how you do it. All right, let's let's try again then. Double trouble. Oh, you still have to set a code. All right, well, I mean, at that point, I guess it's just easier to link trade, right? Yo, Tommy, if you want to hook me up, bro, I'll give you the the Pokemon. <laughs> Let me know the link code. I have them all ready to go right here. I need Electivire, Magmortar, Rhyperior, all three of them, basically. Also, I guess, well, you guys were saying Kingdra you can get through the Terra Raids, but still, I would, I would do Kingdra and then Porygon 2. Oh, this man's quick with it, okay. Let me get in there. If you both search in the union room, then a trade the link code doesn't matter. That's what I figured, but I guess that means no one was trading then. As soon as I got in the union room, they just started running away. Well, except for the person taking a selfie. Alright. I guess we go for Ride on first. Oh, Electivire. Right, I'll do Electivire first then. I'm gonna trade for the same Pokemon. We're not actually gonna see it evolve, but that's fine. I just need to get it in the decks. That's that's the priority here. Oh, it's all good, Ace. Don't worry, buddy. It took us a minute, but we got the first one. Electivire. Nice. That's one down. Okay, let's do Magmortar next. Oh, Jay, you have the pre-evolutions? Alright, I'm gonna trade with you, Jay. After I get this one, I guess. I wanna see them actually evolve on screen. I don't think I've ever done that, done it that way. After Magmortar, I'll trade with you, Jay. I got Seedra, Porygon, and Rhydon ready to go. What's up, Kai the Ninja? Oh, yours is evolving. <laughs> I forgot that was going to happen for you. Someone join up with Shy Guy. 
Gotta get those barbecues going. You can get all those in raids, by the way. Okay, you know what? I don't do raids, bro. I don't... <laughs> nice. Alright, Jay. Let me know if you're ready. Or if you're available. If you want to do it. Thank you, by the way, Tommy. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, nice. You're setting it up. Cool, cool. Alright. I guess while we wait for that, um, so the Pokedex is at 195. So if we get Rhyperior, Porygon, and Porygon Z, that's three, we would just need two more. Which starter should I evolve? Literally, we just gotta evolve one of the starters twice. Can do Tepig. Oh, I also had the two Tyrogues. I could do Hitmonlee and Chan. I mean, yeah, I feel like it has to be Litten, huh? <laughs> Where's Litten at? Oh, I guess I, I got the two Tyrogues right here. There's a chance that they might not even evolve into what they're supposed to or what, what I want them to. It has to have higher attack than defense, right? Th yeah, both of the- no, these don't work. They both have higher attack. I think I actually have a third Tyrogue somewhere, though. Oh, there it is! This one has higher defense. There we go. Oh, sorry, Jay. I just realized you were ready. Hey, it's a chicken nugget! With legs! A and hands. I love that it learns Brick Break and not like Jump Kick or something. Like, you're the kicking Pokemon, bro. What are you doing? And then we got this one. Wait, I thought that other one was supposed to be Hitmonlee. Is this actually going to be Chan? Okay, it is. Thank goodness. <laughs> Breaking bricks with its legs. That is a thing, actually. I didn't think about that. You can just... Yeah, kick down and break it. At least this guy gets an actual punching move, though. Boom. All right. So with those two, we now pretty much just have these trade evolutions and then we should be set. I'm going to put in the code right now, Jay. Let's do it. Oh wait, you changed it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's try Porygon first, and then we can do the dubious disc after and just get Porygon Z. Or I guess Rhyperior first. Cause... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever. What matters is if we can even connect in the first place. Huh. Weird. Searching. Okay, let me try again. Oh? Okay. I guess not. <laughs> that was weird. I'll try it again. Ah, oh, we did it! Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's do Rhyperior first. You can keep mine, too, if you want. Uh, but I guess for Porygon... It'll be a double trade. What the frick? Wait, that's not Rhyperior? Oh, that's not me. <laughs> what 
Wait, who is this? And why are they trying to give me a shiny Sprigatito? Damn, I got excited, bro. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll put a different code. Well, I guess you should still put the code. Because someone's definitely going to try to join if I put the code. Is it still the same code? Yeah, who the frick was Sasha? <laughs> All right, we got a new code. Hold up. Okay, hopefully I got it right. Pretty sure I spelled it right. I don't know, I feel like there's something weird where sometimes you can't connect to certain people. I think we got it this time. Cyro, is that you? I hope that's you. It's a Magmar! Oh, I mean, I guess I can give you Magmortar. We just got one, so... Here you go. Alright, cool, that is you. Oh, that means we can actually see Magmar evolve then. We swapping all over the place, bro. <laughs> this is technically now Tommy's Pokemon you're getting. Ta da! Very nice. Whoa, why is he so fuzzy? What? I know Magmar was like... I had fur. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Alright, cool. You want to do... Electivire or Rhyperior next? Let's see. Porygon. Alright, we'll do Porygon. Pori for Pori. Oh, I forgot we still have to do Cedra too. Any second now. Wait, did it? What? What happened? Did the communication break? Maybe you haven't pressed A. Oh no. Please don't tell me the connection broke. Please. Please, Jay. Don't do this to me. Okay, it's working. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Cedra needs a dragon scale. But we have to do Porygon after this anyway, so if you don't if you have a dragon scale, uh, you can give Cedra the dragon scale, and then we can trade that too. Yes! We got Porygon! You can get the dragon scale from the Pokedex too, in case you don't have one. And there it is. <laughs> this gotta be one of the weirdest freaking evolutions ever, dude. I will never understand Porygon 2. This artificial Pokemon evolved thanks to cutting edge science. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. They call it cutting edge. I'm pretty sure that's gotta be like a pun, right? Because it's like polygons in 3D, 3D modeling is like... The more polygons a character has, the, the sharper the image looks, or whatever. Or maybe it's not just polygons, but like the faces. I don't know. I know a little bit about 3D modeling, not much. Okay. Let's get Electivire up next. 
I just realized this one we had was level 100, though. Getting that level 100, boy! Boy! Electabuzz is so damn loud. Oh, you ain't even heard it in the anime. Electabuzz in the anime is a whole different beast, bro. <laughs> yeah! I love Electivire's cry. That's one of the coolest Pokemon cries. Alright, let's do Ry- Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say Rhyperior, but I guess we'll do it after. Yeah, so now I need to give Porygon 2 the dubious disc. Just let me know when you got the code. I need to find Torchic, only then I have all starters. Ooh, nice. Torchic is in that cave, I showed it earlier. I don't know how to explain it, but it's near the Dragon Elite Force uh, base, like whatever it's called. There's a cave up there. Where's my Drillbur? I think I caught two Drillbers actually. All right, so we got those. Now we just need these three and we're done -zo. I think I caught Hitmontop too. I have no idea where it is though, but... Oh yeah, there it is. Put all my starters in the same box while we're waiting. Got two Squirtles. I know I caught multiples of many starters actually. Is this really all the starters? I feel like there's a lot missing. Oh, it's all good, Tommy. Don't worry, bro. You got me with the, uh, the first two trades. Where's my shield on, too? I gotta evolve that thing eventually. Am I the only one that, I mean, maybe not watching it, but at least when you're actually the one doing it, I find it pretty satisfying just organizing all the Pokemon. Like putting the evolutions next to each other, I mean. Oh, here's Shield on. Alright. So got that. Where's mining at? Gotta put Plusle and Minin together. Oh, there we go. See, that's looking so nice when you finally get everything well put together. Shield on how to catch. It's in the wild, but it's a uh, Violet exclusive. So you're going to have to have someone from with Pokemon Violet join your game. Or you can trade for it either way. Oh, Bulbasaur! What the heck are you doing here? Alright, now where's Esper at? I know I have Esper. And Meowstic. <laughs> what? Dude, I definitely have a bunch more. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got this one. I don't see Esper at all, though. Also, is this Iono's? Oh, this is. You go in this box. got five of the trades already. Wait, what happened to Jay, bro? Did Jay just dip? Oh, never mind. You're ready. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Let me know when you got the code, bro. How long is the stream going? I mean, as soon as we do this, 
we're ready to catch the Paradox Pokemon and that's it. That would be the end of everything in Blueberry. Well, I mean, there's like 100% completion stuff, but I'll probably do another stream for that. Not, not this weekend, but maybe later next week or something. Oh wait, I was about to do a battle on accident. Okay. Have you seen anyone with a shiny Pokedex? Like, full shiny Dex? Um... Maybe not the full, full Dex. Alright, we're in here. This is it. The final hurdle. We got ride on for ride on. What's up, Brianna? How you doing? Just three more Pokemon left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not think this would feel like such a... Such a battle. But we're almost there, guys. Got Rhyperior! It's just crazy because all of these Pokemon are so easy to get in Legends Arceus, too. I mean, not easy, but they're easy to find. Maybe not to catch, but. They're in the wild, just walking around. Except Kingdra, actually. Kingdra is new, right? Aw, that warms my heart, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Cheese? Now, we're we're almost done, bro. We caught every single starter in this stream, which is crazy. But now we're just doing the trades. What's up, Happenstance Place? How you doing? Getting the 10th star in Arceus is hard. Is that for, like, completing every Pokedex entry? Like, 100%? I didn't even attempt it, bro. I gave up. I mean, I finished the Pokedex and I got Arceus, but... I was not gonna do the 10 stars. And there we go. Kingdra! Alright, last one! Literally the last Pokemon we need. What? <laughs> That wasn't it. <laughs> Wait, did you forget the dubious disc? Okay, no. Where's my Porygon? That ain't my Porygon. Hold on, didn't I just trade you my Porygon? How is it a... <laughs> no, I want my Porygon back. Come on, bro. Give me my Porygon. I miss my Porygon. <laughs> Unless you didn't put the dubious disc. If you really didn't, then whatever. I'll just take the Z, 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 Z. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we were almost there. We were almost there, guys. Oh, there's that other drill burn. Thank you. 
Alright. One last trade. Is it the same code? I'm gonna assume probably. Nice. You can't trade if you only- Okay, wait, but what if I- Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Why don't they just let you trade? Now it's all my fault. Now I have to go back. There's no way. I mean, yeah, I guess I could have just traded you anything. Okay. <laughs> What's up, John? What is happening? Indeed, what is happening? I don't know, Deepesh. I don't know what's happening anymore. All I know is this is the final Pokemon. Even though we totally could have just gotten it from a raid battle apparently, but we're getting it the legit way, the good old fashioned way. And Porygon 2 is evolving. So last time it said cutting edge technology let this thing become Porygon 2. What's it going to say for Z? Like, what is this? What am I looking at? An additional program was installed to create a more advanced Pokemon, but it was apparently flawed. Porygon Z moves oddly as a result. So it's a glitch, basically. Porygon Z is a glitch Pokemon. Interesting. We did it! Thank you so much, Jay. Appreciate it, homie. And thank you to everybody else that joined in on the Union Rooms and the trades as well. We have finally got 200 poke- 201? How did I overshoot it by one? Whatever. We got 200 though. And we got a Dream Ball. Oh my god, there's still more? I mean, yeah, obviously there's still more. There's all the starters that I haven't evolved. What else am I missing other than the starter evolutions? I mean, apparently a lot. Mostly just evolutions though. I think I've caught almost everything like base form. So this should be pretty easy to do off screen. And then, yeah, like I said, maybe next week we'll come back and do a uh, hundred percent. Oh, I don't have tentacool. The frick? I never caught milsery, <laughs> even though it's like all over the place. But I guess I just really wanted that shiny. That's literally it, just Milsery and Tentacool and then all the starter evolutions. Oh yeah, and the legendaries, but I, I heard some people saying the legendaries are not part of the decks. Unless you mean like the other two paradoxes, probably. But yeah, we got all the really, really hard ones out the way, so you know what that means, guys. We're gonna wrap up the stream by talking Wait, where is she? Oh, because we're in the middle. I was like, isn't Perrin supposed to be around here? Oh, no, I think she's around here, actually. Oh, Perrin! Where is Perrin, anyway? I know she was by the entrance where we came into the terrarium. The savannah rest? This is the savannah rest, right? 
Savannah. Oh, this is Savannah Plaza. Is she over here then? Savannah Outdoor Classroom. Where did we enter the blueberry? Bottom right corner. It's like around here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Savannah Rest Area. Okay. Okay. Now that we finally got 200 Pokemon in the decks, it's time to talk to Perrin. Orange, don't tell me. You already got yourself 200 already? Lady, do you know how long this took me? It was hard work. Well, look at you, putting in all that effort. I like to see that in a kid. You probably know more about the Pokemon in the terrarium than I do, and I got here first. I guess you've earned yourself that hot tip. <laughs> I still don't like the way she phrases that, but finally, take a look at these photos, would ya? What is that? What am I looking at? Huh? That's it? That's that's what you had to show me? Okay, well I know what that is, even though somehow it's hiding its big old neck. See those strange Pokemon? That first one's called Gouging Fire, and the other one's Raging Bolt. Totally unknown Pokemon in totally unknown places. If they're real, it'd be a huge deal. Apparently, these places are in Paldea. You have any idea where? A uh, yes, ma'am. Area Zero. It's gotta be. Of course, you know how it is these days, right? These photos could totally be fakes. <laughs> but if you want to know for sure, maybe you could go try and search these Pokemon out. I can show you the photos again anytime you like. Just give me a shout. And find me something good, Orange. I've got faith in your survey skills. Alright, so I think I know where Raikou is. Or Raging Bolt. But I have no idea about that other thing. Which, obviously I'm playing it up, but it is definitely Entei. Especially with a name like Gouging Fire. It looks like it's up on top of a waterfall. And then this guy's at the bottom of the pool. Where you find, like, a lot of, uh... Espeons, I think. So, we're flying back to Paldea, it seems. I really wish we could just fly straight down to the Great Crater, but whatever. Finally, guys. Oh my gosh. This whole five and a half hour stream. We've been working towards this. I'm so excited. And with this outfit, too. Oh yeah, we're ready. So let's do it. Whee! Back in Area Zero. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I know where Raging Bolt is. But the Gouging Fire... Whatever the heck it was called. Actually, it kind of looks like that waterfall. Straight across. Unless it's like over here? No, I don't see any waterfalls over there. Oh, it could be that one actually. Wait, is that it right there? Or is that just a rock? No, it wouldn't spawn from this far away, I don't think. That's just a rock. But it's got to be either that or this waterfall. Let's see. Gouging fire. Where are thee? Not here, apparently. Oh, wait, it is. Yo. What the frick? It's him. Bro, look at his tail. Oh, my God, that's sick. Look at his freaking head. Wow, that is not at all what the fan art depicted it like. Unlike Raging Bolt, which ended up looking exactly like what the fan art said. This looks sick. It is still kind of like a Triceratops base though. I am definitely not well equipped to catch it. So, let me get, uh, you know, the usual Ketchum. Probably going to need to bring some other Pokemon though. I don't think Ketchum's going to be enough on his own. 
I mean... This guy's got Nuzzle, that might be helpful. And then, I don't want to kill it on accident. What the f- what, what is this Diglett doing here? Hmm... I mean, it's gotta be fire type, right? So let's just bring like some water types. But I don't want to kill it on accident. We'll bring Terrapagos too. Just, just, just cuz. And let's save. And here we go. Paradox Ente. Ingra. It's been a while since I heard this theme. Oh yeah. I had to turn it up for myself. Seems like it's just a regular encounter, so we gotta go for the quick ball. Imagine we critical catch it. <laughs> and catch him's dead. Oh, never mind. Good job, catch him. Catch him. We could just Master Ball it, actually. We do have two Master Balls that could just go to this guy and Raging Bolt. But you guys know I like showing off how to actually catch it the legit way. So, we're gonna Swords Dance up. I mean, at this point, I don't know what I'm saving my Master Ball for, I'm gonna be honest. There's really no other Pokemon that I would want to catch with it. There's a whole bunch of legendaries. Like the ones that you get with the snacks. But, yeah, I don't know. Other than that, what else would I Master Ball? Then again, I caught Iron Leaves and Walking Wake and like more unique. Oh wait, is it Fire Dragon? I didn't even think about it. We don't know this thing's typing yet. Well, I don't know it's type because this is my first time fighting it, but I'm pretty sure it's Fire Dragon because the other two are Water Dragon, Electric Dragon. So yeah, does not look like a Dragon type, but it's got to be that. All right, fine. I guess I'll go for another False Swipe. Oh, you missed. You suck. Now let's put it to sleep. What is that? Burning Bulwark. Bulwhack. Bulwark? Bulwhack? Okay. Well, it dodged my hypnosis. I have no idea what that attack it used was, though. It just says it's protected. Seems like spiky shield. Oh, yeah, it could be a protection type of move. Ooh, you missed again, buddy. Oh, it's protect and it burns. Oh, that's sick. It protects itself and it has the potential to burn you if you hit it. That's pretty cool. The good thing is it has Lava Plume. So if you get it low HP, it's not going to do much damage because Lava Plume does more the higher HP you are, I believe. Now let's go for another False Swipe. I don't know what Pokeball I'm going to use. I mean, if we wanted one that matches, maybe this level ball or the friend ball because it has like the green and red and that kind of looks like his headdress. But there's no way that I'm going to catch it in this friend ball right now, bro. I don't know if I should even waste it. Let's try it. Why the frick not? Oh, it shook once just to give us that false hope. Oh, that's eruption. My bad. I don't know why then. Uh, for some reason, Lava Plume is doing so little damage then. But I guess we'll go for Premier Balls. That's usually the way I go. No! 
Yeah, I know you can just save reset, but that dude, that would take so long to get it in a friend ball. Like if I kept resetting, putting it low HP, and then just just for one chance at the friend ball. Oh my god, I thought we had it. True, it could just be really bad with special attack. I mean, its other move, Dragon Rush, is physical, so... Yeah, this thing's probably more of a physical attacker. It's surprisingly easy. I guess I, I just wouldn't have the patience for it. Oh, we got burned. Alright, let's try Hypnosis again. Finally, it hits a Fire Blast. Yeah, this thing has to have horrible special attack. Like, even Fire Blast did that little damage? That's crazy to me. You got lucky first try with Safari Ball. Wow. Congrats. I'm just gonna go for the tried and true. My favorite Pokeball. And we got it! Let's go! Gouging fire has been caught. One down, one to go. The Fire Dragon Paradox Entei. There are scant few reports of this creature being sighted. One short video shows it rampaging and spouting pillars of flame. Dude, it looks so sick. I love what they did with like the headdress. I mean, yeah, let's add it to the party. Use it against uh, Raging Bolt now. We'll get rid of Chang. Even though Raging Bolt is Electric Dragon, I mean, regardless, I'm probably just gonna use Gallade. Let's check it out though, even though it's asleep right now. It's not actually asleep when you send it out. It's huge, dude. This is crazy. Oh, I forgot. You can't use the Synchro Machine here. <laughs> he gets angry? Alright, bro, relax. Go to sleep, alright? There. Wait, does it sleep with its- Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, does it really just sleep with its eye, like, standing up like a horse or something? But no. Sleeps like a good old boy. So, let's, uh, full restore up Gallade now. And down to the depths we go for Raging Bolt. Well, technically we don't go all the way down though. I think it is not here, but... Uh, oh, no, 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 no! Okay, <gasps> I almost fell all the way. I think we just go right here to this waterfall. That's kind of cool, they're both like near the waterfalls. Where's he at? He was hiding behind this rock. Wasn't it here? Oh, it is. Nice. Looks a little bit smaller than I expected. I mean, I don't know. Raging Bolt or Gouging Fire looked huge. This one in the trailer seemed bigger. Is he sleeping? Oh. Nope, he's awake. All right. Well, let's save again. I wasted my friend ball, but it's whatever. Raigo! Get to hear more of this bopping theme. So sick. I was just saying how it's not tall enough, but you can't even see its head. <laughs> Dragon Hammer! Ho! Oh. Okay. We're fine. This one is definitely more of a special attacker. So I don't know why it's going for Dragon Hammer. I mean, it's got to have a good electric move, though. Rising Voltage. You didn't even set up your electric terrain, bro. What are you doing? Don't you know that does more damage on the electric terrain? Alright, well, it's still kind of kicking our butt, so... That's Hyper Potion. 
Yeah, we're gonna catch this one also in the Premier Ball. Wait, Dragon Hammer is a new move? That's its new move? Doesn't it have another move? Like another exclusive or... I mean, usually Pokemon only have one exclusive or signature. Oh, Thunderclap. Thunderclap is the one I'm thinking of. All right, let's Hypnosis. Thunder breathing first form, Thunderclap. Oh my God, come on again. It hasn't even used Thunderclap yet. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, finally we get the sleep though. He looks kind of silly when he falls asleep. Like he's just, he actually is like a horse. Just stands there. But now it's time for the Premier Ball. Nope. Oh, it failed? Okay, yeah, okay, never mind. I guess it did try to use it, but because it's like a sucker punch, if we don't attack it, then yeah, it just fails. And we kept going Hypnosis, so it wasn't working out for him. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot about Dragon Hammer, but I knew it wasn't, it couldn't be his exclusive. That just seemed kind of weird. Apparently, that was a lone Executor's exclusive or signature, but not anymore. And I'm dead. All right. We're not doing the Master Ball. <laughs> Any reason why you use Premier Ball? I don't know. I just, it's always been my favorite kind of Pokeball. Well, maybe not always, but at least since I became a YouTuber, I've been catching legendaries in Premier Ball. I mean, there's no way it can, like, hurt itself, right? So, it's just a matter of time. I have this one hair that just won't stay put. There you go. Okay. It's back to sleep. We got 80 Premier Balls. That should be plenty. <laughs> it hasn't even shaken once, though. That is a little worrying. I mean, let's see. What else might fit for this guy? Fastball, maybe? I wasted a Friend Ball on Gouging Fire. Why not waste a Fastball on this guy? Go! Fastball! Oh, my God. <laughs> It shook once just to give us that false hope. Oh, there's the thunderclap. But it failed. Premier Ball is my go-to for shinies. Same. Yeah, fastball would definitely be the coolest for him. And friend ball for gouging fire. I mean, this level ball actually could fit too, but no, this is definitely not going to work. Repeat ball, uh, it's all right, but I would rather just do premier ball. And that's why you do premier ball. <laughs> We did it! Raging Bolt is said to incinerate everything around it with lightning launched from its fur. Very little is known about this creature. Well, we know enough about it. 
Looks like a freaking tall neck from Horizon Zero Dawn. But just because the absolute legend pretty much predicted it so on point, I got to get credit to Bulby Boy. We're going to name it Bulby, but I don't remember if his name had two Bs or one, so hold up. Bulby Boy. Okay, yeah, it does have two Bs. It's going to be Bulby. Get in the box, Terrapagos. You don't belong here. You ain't a paradox, bro. All right, we did it. Let's check him out. Outside of battle, too. Whoa. Imagine how sick it would be to ride on the back of this thing. Well, minus the spikes that would probably hurt a lot. <laughs> like... Yeah, I don't know. Seems cool. Maybe even up on the little cloud. <clears throat> you can see everything from up there. I do want to see what it would be like to synchronize with them, though. So let's head back to the terrarium. Unfortunately, the other two are Pokemon Violet exclusive. Bro, I don't know. I, I feel like... Maybe this is a hot take, or not a hot take, but it's literally just personal preference. But the future paradoxes, they look kind of lame compared to these. We got Raging Bolt. He fits so well in the savannah. Look at this guy. Like, he looks like he belongs. He literally looks like this is his natural habitat. It's asleep. You can see the little ZZZs every once in a while. Look at that. <laughs> He's so slow. Yeah, he is pretty slow. And this is me running, too. He's still going this slow. Even with this low HP, though, managed to win that auto battle. Come here, Doduo. All right, cool. What the frick? We bit that Rhyhorn too? Oh my god. That's his attack animation, I guess. Oh, he has two different ones. Alright, he's pretty sick. Now let's check out Gouging Fire. Who's at a whole 1 HP, so... Wow, dude! He's huge! I'm actually really, really happy with Paradox Ente. It looks so sick in-game. Where did that Scyther go? I want to kill something. I mean, I guess there's a whole bunch of other stuff we can kill, like this Charmander. Come here! Poor little guy. Oh, here's that Scyther. And here's the attack animation. Ooh, that's so cool. Yeah. Gouge him. I don't know why uh, Raging Bolt had two different animations. He had one where he stomps, and then he has one where he, like, smacks you with his neck. Every other Pokemon seems to just have one, though. Anyway, I guess that about does it. I wish we could check them all out in the picnic, but I don't have the two violet ones yet. Oh, there's Poplio. Wait. I already have a Primarina, though. I guess I had two Poplios. And no, that Charmander was not freaking shiny. It's just the lighting in this game is weird sometimes. But yeah, here's the three past paradoxes, at least. We got Walking Wake. Which I did catch in a unique Pokeball, but now the other two are just Premier. Oh, I forgot I caught Wo Chien in Ultra Ball. I got all the rest of them in Premier. Why did I get Wo Chien in Ultra? Anyway. That's it. That's all three of them. Uh, I do want to try to get the uh, Violet ones, but... I don't know how I'm going to do that. Considering I would need... Um... 
the DLC, I guess. I can buy it on, like, Kitten's copy. But then I would have to beat the whole Teal Mask, too. That's gonna take a minute. So maybe if someone has an extra... But I, I doubt anyone has any extras either, so... I would feel bad taking your original, so I'm not gonna ask anyone to trade them to me. But that is going to be the end of the stream. So I want to thank you all. Yo, why did the music? Give me... Don't, don't take away my music. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. Appreciate you guys joining me for this DLC. I'm going to have some videos coming up about anything spicy that I managed to find. And also, I'm going to try to 100% the decks. The chat is definitely not actually going that crazy, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.